Mom. Son, you need to understand that you were made in the mold of kings. And how many times do you need to tell me this? You keep repeating this over and over again. Yes. I keep repeating it because you seem to forget that you will be the one to emerge as king. That is not possible. I mean, how can I emerge as king when I have an elder brother? That one? You still regard that one as your elder brother? Yes. He is my elder brother. Irrespective of the fact that I do not like him, he is still my elder brother and he will emerge as king after father joins his ancestors. If I need you, that is one thing I don't like about you. You do not apply wisdom when it is required. <laughs> Listen, forget the fact that he's your elder brother or whatever. The staff of the king will be given to who it fits, not necessarily to the first son. And what do you mean by that? Let's just say that I know the succession procedure very well. And I know that you, if I need to my son, will be the one to be in that office of the king. Not Chukunonso. I am late for a meeting. I'll see you when I get back. I'll see you. I'll see you, Mom. Here, son, I have it here. I know how to push men to the top. My son will get there. My son will get to that throne. I'll say to that. <laughs> it was very funny, honestly. <laughs> you see, this new generation is turning to something else. That is it, bro. I'm telling you. Crazy things arise as days go by. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, uh, let her in. Okay, thanks. Uh, it's a lady I'm expecting from Mavis Oil. Oh, okay. Yeah, come right in. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Can you have a seat? Thank you, sir. Sit I guess those are the documents. Uh... Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, my boss said you will understand everything as you go through the files. Mm, yeah, absolutely. All right, sir. I have to be on my way now. Okay. Good day. Thank you. Please, Choco Nonso, the shy boy. What was that supposed to mean? You couldn't even look at that lady in the face. I mean, when will you stop being shy? Are you sure you're ready to become king after your father? To the point of correction, I'm not a shy guy, okay? Then as per taking over from my father, I am so ready. We know both leaders when they talk. Maybe later you develop into one. As of now, you are not one. Just accept. Tony, your opinion. Mm -hmm. Are you entitled to it? When I ascend the throne after my father, come and kick me out. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn down on my bodyguards. <laughs> I can do it, mom. Believe me. I am no longer that baby you used to know. I will always regard you as my baby. Until
till you get married and have your own children. Mom? Yes. Yes? So this meeting now is for what? The king is not here. What are you doing here? Of course, gossip as you draw. Kopashidera, Kopashan. Kopashan. Close your mouth. Did that just happen? All right. We were talking about you becoming a woman before we were rudely interrupted. So can we continue with that discussion, please? Oh, mother, I can't believe this. Who is... Who is Chidera to exhibit such demeaning attitude before us? Leave her. Your Majesty, I... I called you for us to discuss because I have noticed something quite unusual. And it is not something I will come to discuss in the palace. And that is why I asked you to come over to my place, and I'm happy you obliged me. Okay. I... Your Majesty, I noticed you no longer go to your companies like you used to. And as a brother, I am genuinely bothered. I don't know, is there something you want me to know? Odoka, do you think that is still necessary when I have two sons that are fully grown managing my companies? Oh, I, I think I understand. You see, another reason for me to call you a lucky man. Oh, thank you. Uh, because so many men who are in your class, men that went out of their ways and married two women like you are not as lucky as you are, you will agree with me. I don't understand, Odoka. Must you always capitalize on every slight opportunity to register your displeasure with the fact that I'm married to two wives? Udoka, you are my brother. You know how this thing happened. But I must tell you the truth. I am not regretting it at all. Of course, I know you are not regretting. Because you have been managing your home perfectly well. Okay. And uh, that is because of your managerial abilities. Uh, something you acquired after spending a lot of time overseas studying management. Thank God you know. Yeah, uh, but uh, more reason I want you to always peep into your companies instead of leaving everything in the hands of your sons. You will agree with me they are young men and they have the capacity to make some mistakes in their course of management. Mistakes that, are, that could cripple the business. Don't you understand what I'm saying? You have a point there, Odoka. And I must thank you for your concern. You're welcome. But the truth is, I still go to my companies. It's not as if I no longer go there. I still do. Really? Yes. I am still the CEO of my two companies. Mm -hmm. Just that I no longer bother myself with that as I used to back in the days. Mm -hmm. Well, I understand that. And uh, that is because um, <laughs> you are actually reaping the fruits of your labor. You can say that again. <laughs> you can say that again. Nice. Uh, that notwithstanding, I have a little problem. What problem, my brother? The problem I have right now is... Chukunonso and Ifai are not always in good terms. And it gives me cause for concern. I understand, my brother, but... Um, their disagreement is not completely unexpected. Yes. You know, because as children born by two different women, there is always the tendency that they will disagree. But then again, you will agree with me that finally when they realize or when they remember that they actually came from the same man, they will agree again. So that is a kind of um, disagreeing to agree. So I don't think that is there's a problem. It's not something that, that should be bothering you, my brother. I, I, they, they will come around. I think you have a point there. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, brother. I sincerely appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs>
don't know why you're asking me for the impossible. I am here to do anything for you, here and now. I am ready. I cannot see myself sleeping with your guest. And what is wrong with that, Jovita? Are you now turning down the request of the Prince of Uzuna? No, my Prince. I am not turning down your request. It's just that I have never done anything like that before. Jovita, there is always a first time to everything in life. Even the people into it started one day. If you start today, it's not a big deal. Oscar is a very good friend of mine. Whenever I'm in Benin, he gives me good treats. So now that he is in my kingdom, it is only nice that I reciprocate. So I thought it wise to give him a beautiful, delicious, and sexed, and creamy girl like you. So that when he gets back to Benin, he would have something to remember. My prince, I am sorry. Please, you don't need to be angry with me, please. I cannot do it. I'm sorry. One million naira. That's for what? Jovita. Well, that's how I roll. I am the manager of this great and lucrative company. I bless those that bless me. Go to Oscar. Make him go crazy. And if he comes back to tell me that you murdered him, I will make you a millionaire richer. <laughs> My prince, this is so enticing. Can I have the money now before I go see him? I am a man of my words, Jovita. When I say I'll do something, I will do it. Now here is my car key. Go to the trunk of my car. You would find money there, take one million naira. And if Oscar comes back and confesses that you murdered him, oh my God. I'll give you more. Oh my goodness. Eh? And so what? Eh? And so what? Is that all you have to say? I couldn't. I asked a question. I didn't make a statement. I ask you again. Is it by force to greet? Or is there any law that says my daughter must greet you first? Mommy, ask her. So. Is it by force to greet? Must I greet you? It's all right. It's all right, what? Eh, come back now. Come here. Stupid woman. It's all right. Look at her. So, mommy, she just came to report you. Can you imagine? Is it my first of this? I don't know. Anyway, don't bother. I know how to handle this woman. <laughs> no, me no try him again. I know they know her before. Me no try him again. How was your day, son? And how was business? Oh. Very well. I had a very good day. Uh, it, is, it keeps getting better. So good to hear. And I equally know that I can always count on you. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm so proud of you. Um, but what about this document from Mavis Oil? Oh yes, I received it today uh, through a lady that was sent by the CEO. I'm already working on it. It's in my office. I hope to run it off by tomorrow. Oh. So nice to hear. Thank you, guys. Honestly, I am proud of you. <laughs> Your Majesty. Good evening. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, bro. How are you doing? I'm good. Well, I'll see you later. Ah, if I are you leaving already? Without even getting seated for us to talk about how business went at the office today? We all live in this wonderful edifice of yours. So which means we can always have a drink and then we chat about whatever it is you want us to chat about later. But now, it's time to go to my room. I just got back from work and one of the guards said you guys were here. And I thought about it as a gentleman. Let me come say hi. So, back to my room. And then same thumbs up to you. 
I'll see you later, Dad. Just like that. Chukunonso, you have to make out time to talk to your brother. I know he took this radical nature from me, but I had respect for people. That is why I could become king. You have to talk to him. I will try. Can you imagine? She died off yesterday. Who does she think she is? My daughter, you don't have to blame her. The one to be blamed is the mother. You needed to have seen the way she was defending her. <laughs> Chidera now feels too big. Simply because she passed out from NYSC. Having served in that mosquito infested state. Eh? Come on. It was not the same NYSC that I passed out from some years ago. Since your hair will soon go for hers. Oh. Uh -huh. So I wonder why she's feeling as if she won some sort of trophy. Is it, there's something I don't really understand about these people. I mean, we're supposed to be some kind of family, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, why are they acting like there's something we're dragging, like we're some kind of enemies? Chukunonso, obviously those people are jealous of us. Especially you. Why? Yes, they wish Ifani Chuku should be the one named king after your father. Crazy. They wish. But it is funny. I mean, it's crazy. I am the first son of our father. Hmm? And that automatically makes me the heir to the throne. Exactly. So why are they wishing it's for them? That is it, my son. But don't worry. They will wish for that for the rest of their lives. Exactly. Well, I wish them luck. <laughs> Please. I made fresh fruit juice. Who wants some? Naturally, I want some. And naturally, you should be thinking of getting a wife that will sit here with you, preparing you anything you want. And naturally, oh. in the absence of a wife, at least you people should allow me to naturally enjoy the best from my natural sister. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'm coming. <laughs> Cynthia, that was a very indecent way of asking my son to get a wife. Well, he should. I told your brother that he is the one to take after your father. Or he wouldn't agree with me. Brother, what Mama just said is right. You are a king, Matilda. In fact, as I did, I don't see the crown already for your head. You are not a weakling. What do you both want me to do? Look, I am close to the king, my father. I know all about this politics. Really? And by that you are claiming to know more than I do, right? Okay, Ma. What do you want? I need you to start making plans on how to become a king. But sometimes I just don't understand you. The king is still very much alive and you are talking about another king. How can another king emerge when father is still alive? Why don't you wait for the old man to die first? Before you start asking me my plans. What kind of nonsense is this? Have you confirmed what I've been telling you about your brother? He needs to open his eyes. He needs to open them so wide. I'm not going to say Together, we will open his eyes. Don't worry. That's my daughter talking. I'm not going to say Don't worry. Now listen, listen, listen to me. Before this conversation continues, I, I want you to accept the fact that you're a bitch. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Yeah, thank you. Now that you have accepted that you're a bitch, I will inform you that I do not have a problem buying a car for a bitch. But a bitch has got to work for it. Call me when you're ready, bitch. Who is it? Who is it? That guy is so cute. Mm. Ah, is he cuter than my guy? <laughs> Your guy. Now? Why are you laughing? Yeah, why won't I laugh? You know why I'm laughing. Why? I'm laughing because I know you two. Uh, you don't have one particular guy. I don't even know one particular guy you have. So why won't you laugh? What's funny now? What's not funny? Of course you know what I'm talking about. Gwebe, you don't get one. You don't get two. You don't get three. Neither do you have four. So what else are you talking about? Listen, you feel shut up. I better make a like, shot. <laughs> Can you just shut up? Oh. You fit. Just, just shut up already. You get no time to talk now. I had it all. <laughs> so the so-called precious princess of Lolongozika has numerous boyfriends. I beg you to consign you. Are you telling me? What call this girl come here now? What's happening? Babe, it's not even about it being a business. My question is, how did you manage to get here? How? One does never cease. Just Look who is talking. A bitchy friend. And a bitchy princess. <laughs> princess, Choma, or whatsoever they call you, they're not listen, listen to me. Don't you ever insult me. Did you hear that? It's okay. It's okay. Ha! Huh? Um, Choma, if he calls me, I know talk. But you see, my friend, no try him. What will happen? And if I do what will happen, I'm gonna beat you now. You will do what? I'm gonna beat you. I do what? I'm gonna slap you. I, me, I'm not gonna just beat you. You see this, my friend? I'm gonna tear and bounce on you like my You see dog. what I'm talking about? Look at him. Look at him. A mad woman and a mad dog. Choma. Yes. You are stupid. It's your mother that is stupid. Choma. You the mad. <laughs> Let's not forget. You are the mad woman. Who is the mad woman? You are the mad woman here. Are you calling my friend? Hey, keep quiet. I will beat you. I hear your voice again. I will call you. 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 Who's that? She's your princess. She's come here. She's your princess. Be more to go. I don't see you. Who's that? See who is talking. Let's have you. 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 I have seen it, uh, I've seen the document and uh, I've gone through it. I think I need to talk to my father before we can proceed. Is that okay by you? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay, fine. Good. All right then, let me be on my way. Good day. All right. Prince Chukunoso. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. Why are you so shy? Shy? Am I, am I shy? <laughs> of course you are. Especially when you're speaking to ladies. I've observed it severally. <laughs> I mean, even right now you're fidgeting as you're talking to me. Come on, look at me in the face 
eyeball to eyeball and talk. Hey, well, I may not really be in the right position to tell you this, but you should learn not to be shy. You are a man, and more so the future king of your land. And one of the features you have to possess as a king is boldness. And also have it at the back of your mind that when the chips are down, it's only your confidence that is going to speak for you. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day, Prince. Why am I always shy? Why can't I look at women in their faces when I'm talking to them? Is this normal? I don't think so. Could I also be the reason if I some other things I can't be king? Of course not. Who cares how she feels or what she thinks? No matter what she thinks, I must be king. I just need to work on this shy thing because people are already beginning to observe it. That's all. I'm good to go. Okay. A woman comes in and I'm like, look her straight in the face. How are you? Get young. Jerry, Jerry. Oh, come on, Prince. If I, why are you doing this to yourself? Why? Stop this. I don't understand. My Prince, you shouldn't be smoking in your office. You can always do this when you're done with work. Please. I am glad you remember that it is my office, which gives me the right to do whatever that pleases come me. Come on, my Prince. You are the manager of this great company, and equally a prince, a well-respected prince at that. What if you have a sudden client or something, he or she would not take you as a responsible person? That is my point. Suit yourself, Jerry. I don't give a damn. Why do I have this feeling? That you think I am an irresponsible prince. My prince, you are not irresponsible. You see, smoking doesn't make one an irresponsible person. I know of a senator who smokes. And you know I smoke too, but not everywhere. Now you see why I enjoy Chalky's company. You see why you call me, I don't pick your calls. You see why I've been avoiding you? If Chalky were to be here, he would have had a drag peacefully, amicably, and then we're having fun. But look at you. You are preaching to me, telling me all sorts of nonsense. This guy, this guy, this guy. I have all kinds of drinks. When you're done preaching, tell me what you want, and I'll order my secretary to bring it for you, you know? useless friend of hers had the guts to talk back at me. Can you imagine more? Beds of a feather flock together. Have you forgotten? Mm. You shouldn't be surprised at that. Hey. Mom, Chidera is so lucky. She's so lucky today. I would have beaten the hell out of them. It's okay, my daughter. It's alright. Just let them be. You can see they're planning to provoke a fight in the palace. But we shouldn't play into their hands. We shouldn't. Ngozika and her children are looking for our trouble in this palace. But no problem. Let's see how it is going to end. To be candid with you, Ngozika, I don't like that. You better talk to your daughter. Let her behave herself. I've heard you, Your Majesty. I'll talk to her. But come to think of it, is it only my daughter that has to be spoken to? 
What about Akune? Did you tell her to talk to her daughter as well? Well, that's even not the reason I'm here. And what do you mean by that? Your Majesty, I have come to remind you that if I need to put my son, we will be the one to suck. Hold it there. Hold it there, Ngotoka. What is wrong with you? Are you okay at all? Do I look sick? Eh? Now, how many times have I warned you not to speak that into my ears? How many times? Well, Your Majesty, you have asked me a couple of times to stop. But I keep saying it because I want you to see reason with me. <laughs> if I need to put my son, is the one who is fit to rule this kingdom after you. Of course, you know your sons. You know who took after you, don't you, my king? Honestly, I don't seem to understand you most times. And that is why I will normally ask you if you are okay. Well, if you want me to remind you, Chukunonso is my first son. And he is the one that will take over from me when I must have joined my ancestors and not your son, if I Chuku. Your Majesty, Chukunonso, what? Yes? Is that one a son or a, a daughter? That's weakly. Is this your son that is a weakling? You are stupid to sit here with my husband blabbing this nonsense. In my name, Marie Fe, you are you're so one. stupid. You are the one who is stupid, Akunne. There is only one stupid woman in this palace, breeding immorality in males and females. <laughs> and that woman is you. Look at this kettle calling pot black. Hmm. Look at this breeder of immorality, mother of us, mother of our house. Look at you, you are the prostitute, you are a fool. You are a fool. useless woman. Oh, oh, oh enough of fool. this nonsense! Enough! I am fool. disappointed in both of you. Listen to the obscenities coming out from your mouth. If both of you are not mature enough to fashion a way to bring peace into this palace, then you can as well set everywhere on fire. Shut up. See you what you cost. Just shut up. You cost it. If you do not bring your cost body into a meeting I was holding with my husband, this would Point of happened. correction, my husband. <laughs> yes, my husband. Point of correction, I could name. My husband. You are the thief here. Oh, just shut up. You if you were good enough, he wouldn't have thief. married me. Because you are If you were good you enough. Are the all that came from oh, me. shut up. Let me tell you. If not for the money they are paying me in this palace, I would have left since. Where do you want to go? Learn to manage yourself in this mad house, unless you are ready to throw yourself back into the labor market. But seriously, the second law, and our immanent children are the cause of the problem we have in this palace. I don't know why the king has not called into order. Let me advise you, sit on the fence in this palace. Make a mistake of taking sides. You could be hit by a stray bullet. You saw Ifa Ichuku the other day, brought out a gun. You never can tell who else has a gun in this compound. You are right. Yes. Yes, ma'am. But for how long are we going to keep tolerating this woman in this kingdom? For how long? She keeps getting on your way and you allow her. Chuku Nanso. Always remember she's a woman of us or no. She's from this community and married to a king. So what? Because she's married to a king, then we allow her to keep doing what she's doing? I am sure she's up to something. Possibly trying to provoke both of us so that we can play into our hands. That is why you have to be very careful. Did I hear you correctly? Chokunansu, where are you going? They're walking. Tell your mother to stop putting on you as the future king of this kingdom. I am the first son of her father, and that rightfully makes me the heir apparent to the throne.
Have you suddenly gone deaf and dumb? Can't you hear me? Who are you talking to me? Mm -mm. I was talking to all those negative spirits that have been causing this your stupid and recalcitrant attitude. It was my voice you heard. Not a hallucination from that nonsense you are taking. Are you mad? Now quit acting like you didn't hear me before or you don't know what I'm talking I about. I said, are you mad? Are you stupid? You think because you're tall you're noticed in this palace? Let me warn you. I know what you're planning with your mother. But you know what? It will not work. Five seconds, you're out of my sight. Else you would not like what I'll do to you. Five. Four. Please come, let's go. Three. Just leave him. Just leave him. Let's Two. go. No, wait for me. Wait for me! You think because you're tall, we, you, you're, rec you're recognized in this palace? Stupid fool! Fool! How many boyfriends do you have? I understand that both of you are not privileged to have gone to good schools. But at least your poor parents sent you to primary schools where you can at least understand the basic of English language. I am sure both of you passed English language at ordinary levels, which is the reason you were employed here in the first place. That means you understood my question. But I'll ask you one more time. How many boyfriends do you have? My prince, I don't have any boyfriend. That is the truth, my prince. Maidens of Uzonu that serve the king should not be involved in such act, my prince. <sighs> so, both of you, you're saying that if I take you to my room and check it down there, it will still be as sealed as you were delivered by your mothers? My prince, are you really going to do that? They just confirmed to me that they are virgins. I hope you were not lost in over those girls. I mean, the maidens that served you food. <laughs> Kill that lost. Because if you take advantage of them, you will lose your chance of ever being the king. Why? Why? Are they cost or what? Are they not humans? 
I have not come here to be asked stupid questions. Get hold of yourself before you ruin everything. Drop that trash and eat your food. How I hate the life of a prince. There would always be useless rules to restrict him. But not me. Not me. I just want to warn him to desist from whatever plan or intention he has with the mother. And he came after me with a bottle. That, that boy is mad. He's sick. Dad? Yes, son. Are you not saying anything? Honestly, I am short of words. You are short of words? That your son is out there inhaling one of the banned substances? And misbehaving in the palace to the point that he came after me with a bottle? And I'm telling you, you're just relaxing here telling me you're short of words? Chukundong, so what exactly do you want me to do that I have not done already? You should know the kind of brother that you have. Please, learn to tolerate him. I don't want any of you to be injured. Please. I still don't understand why I wasn't angry when all this happened. Can you imagine? Chin and so. Madame Chukunon so of all people, you walked right up to me, look at me in the face, and warned me. Me! Is that why you were asking those palace ladies those stupid questions? Mom, please, please! Can we not just talk about those maidens? Let us face the issue at hand. What other issue is more important than what I have been telling you? I have told you a lot, but you wouldn't listen. I'm so happy it happened. At least your eyes will be open a bit. If I, if you get sense, hmm, you will listen to mom. I am equally happy it happened the way it happened. Guy, you need to carry yourself. Package yourself. Up your game, else you will lose the throne. Oh, mom, please, please. How else do you want me to up my game? How else? You know I am ready, Mom. You know me. You know I am always ready. But each time I try to waste my opposition, you stop me. You keep stopping and tell me how else do you want me to up my game? If I you don't need to shout, the throne is yours. The earlier you realize that, the better for you. It is not about wasting anybody. It is about your courage and presentation. Give it a try. I told you you wouldn't say anything. You should know your father better by now. That quietness can be so annoying sometimes. Sometimes I wonder what kind of a king he is. Don't say that about your father. Besides, what do you expect him to do in this case? Qualify the and start beating him or what? But he should have at least warned him never to try that nonsense again. Exactly. I don't really care about what that does say or not. All I know is that I'm going to be king after him. Not that loud. Those people are just looking for unnecessary trouble. Eh, uh, see, I don't care and I don't want to know. I don't know about you guys, so for me, me, Chama, I'm ready for their trouble. I am not used to trouble, but Ngoseka is pushing me to the wall. I am going to grind her to a halt. There is no peace in my palace. My wives and their children are at loggerheads. 
the bone of contention being the truth. I don't know if they want me dead so that either of their sons can take over the throne. The heat is too much. But in all, I blame my second wife, Ngozika. She knows that Shukunonso is my first son. Why does she want a son to take over the throne? Your, your Majesty, do you want me to get involved? I believe that this is a family issue. And that is why I have invited both of you here. You are my brother. Mm -hmm. And you are the Prime Minister of this kingdom. I want to know, please tell me, what else do I do? How else do I explain to Ingozika to know that rightfully the throne belongs to my first son? Your Majesty, I am surprised to see the dimension this issue has taken. I am aware that your wives have not been getting on well with one another. But I never knew it has gotten to this point. Why would Ngozika do such a thing? Why would she? I mean, who does not know that the throne belongs to the first son? Why does she want it for a son? Your Majesty, I am sorry for what is happening in your family. And I must say that I am glad I'm invited. Thank you, No. You're welcome. There are some things you must know. But unfortunately, you don't, due to the fact that you are more Western than traditional. I don't understand, No. What exactly are you talking about? Do not worry, Your Majesty. I will personally send a message across to you. A message? Oh no, I, I don't understand. What kind of message is that? Whatever it is you want to tell me, why don't you tell me here and now? And again, does it have anything to do with the problem in my family? Some things are better not said. There is something else that you must know. Like I said already, I, Ono Akajugo of Ozuno, will personally send a message across to you. And in that message, I will address this matter with all the facts that would guide and judge your actions. If you look around very well, you will know that this is Father's main living room, where Father receives his visitors. Both of you should not be here. Hey, hey, hey! Why are you this pathetic? Why are you endlessly looking for trouble? Your mama is there. This is not about our troubles. I want to know what gave you the gods to tell us where to be and where not to be in this palace. Listening to both of you speak, I now know why the king refers to you as fools. What? Which king? Which king refers to us as fools? If you are not a fool, you will know that the staff of the king is kept right inside the cupboard. Now what are you loose bitches doing here? Now this is the height of it. Look at this. This cheap daughter of a classless woman calling these ten princesses bitches. Who be the princess? Twofna. Sorry for yourself. Why are you lying? You know what, Chidera? Enough. Get out. Get out of this place! <laughs> you, you want me out of my father's living room? House. You are the fool that made mention of the staff of the kings. A prostitute like you should not be anywhere near that staff. And here you are standing right before it. Now, get out. Out. I should get out. Yes. Get out! Now, both of you are jokers. Come and take me out. Shoma, if I beat out, 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 out,
Uh, I just want to know if I have your permission to peep into your private affair. A peep into my private affair? What does that mean? People are complaining. In fact, it has become a topic that young women gossip about. Do you need help in this way? I don't understand. You have not said anything at all. I mean your relationship with women. A man from the royal lineage must be bold. Why are you shy? You cannot look a woman in the eyes. Do you need help? No, like you said, it is my private life. Please don't make it a kingdom affair, okay? When I see my woman, I will look her straight in the face. Thank you. The head prince of Ozuna is gynophobic. This is not good at all. The enmity between those two boys is getting worse. Seriously. And Nkoseka is the problem in that palace. She is the root of that problem. I am telling you. And it is so clear to me that she has been the one poisoning the minds of her children. You are right. Why would she say her son will be the one to emerge as king after their father? When Chukunonso is the first son. Ask me. And the way she's going about it. The kind of zeal and energy she is investing into that means she is actually determined to get what she wants. I don't understand that woman. Hmm. Ngozika. That woman has been a problem from the outset. I wonder why your brother married her. You don't know? He didn't tell you? Mm -hmm. That means I've never asked. He said he married her because she is the sweetest. Can you imagine? Huh. I don't even want to go into that because as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't just make sense to me. The issue here is that I am bothered with the war in that family. It pains me in my heart. I am just hoping, I'm just hoping that it is not going to escalate to the point that other people will notice that there is no peace in the royal home. No, of course they will. No secret lasts forever. Sooner or later, people will get to know that the first family in our zone is in disarray. Have I said anything wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? I am hungry. Give me food to eat. Ah. Mm. Your wish is my command. Teresa, Teresa. <laughs> One wife is peace indeed. What did I say? I'm a fool. Good. You're stupid. What did I say? I'm stupid. You're a bigger fool. What did I say? I'm a bigger fool. Good. Now next time, when you see a prince alight from the car, you take his briefcase. Hmm? And you? Your mother did not teach you that when a prince parks his car, you go and look inside of it. If there's anything you need to take inside, you don't know that part. Fools! I don't know why my father pays you before. So what? sorry for yourself. What is going on here? 
How is it? Your business? You have no words anymore. I just asked the question, mister. I said, how is it your business? Father and I have been waiting for you. Join us inside. Now you. See that car? Yes, my friends. I am going to club in that car. Do you know what you do? Yes, my friend. Shut up. You don't know nothing. You wash it, you keep it clean. What did I say? I wash it, I keep it clean. Good. 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 Thank you, my friend. Alright? Thank you, my friend. Let's tie it on my feet. Is there anything I said you didn't understand if I to go? Are you done? How do you mean if I am done? I just told you your sister fought with Choma and Cynthia and that your sister was the cause of the fight. And you're asking me if I am done? How has women fighting and exchanging words in this palace suddenly become my business? Is this why you called me for this meeting? I want you to talk to your sister. Talk some sense into her as the elder brother that you are. Oh, you just confirmed to me that this is the reason you called me for this meeting. I am disappointed. For your information, I do not discuss women. I have more busy things to do than that. You dare not walk out on me. If I... Did you see that? He walked out on you like you were nobody. Without respect. I wonder why you keep tolerating this disrespectful son of yours. I've told you what to do, Dad. Call the drug law enforcement agents. Hand him over to them and they will restore his sanity. Oh, One hand. What nonsense advice are you giving? If you don't have something important and useful to say, you better be quiet. Why you call another name? Why do I keep having this feeling? Why do I keep having this feeling that Father likes this guy because of his rascality? Why can't he caution him? If I need to go, can't you see they are pushing us out of the ship already? They cannot do that, mother. Mom, Chioma and her sister had the gods to start a fight with me in my father's living room. That's an insult. A huge insult to us. Alright, um, I had a very hectic day today at work, so I just need to go upstairs. Freshen up and sleep a little. I will be going to club later today and I will see you guys when I return. Is that all you have to say? Is that all you have to say? Now, how does this connect? I am talking about serious issues here. You're talking about your club. How does that concern me? How? <laughs> Mommy, why is it that when I say something serious, he doesn't take it seriously? Why? He'll come around soon, okay? This is not funny. You don't want to say anything. I can see you're engrossed in that thing you're reading. Oh! What is it, Ngozika? Please let me be. Let me concentrate. Your Majesty, what is it? The Prime Minister's son brought this message. He said it's for you. For me? Yes, sir. You may leave. 
What could this be? And what are you trying to do? Nothing. I hope you did not in any way read this letter with me. Ah, no, no, your majesty, not at all. Listen, Ngozi. I may not know what you have seen, but on no account must you discuss the content of this letter to anyone. Because you will not like what I will do if you disobey me. Your majesty, why are you threatening me? I told you I did not see anything. I couldn't have read from here. No. I don't get it, Your Majesty. You are visiting your Prime Minister and you don't want to come in into the living room or follow me to my humble sit-out so I can offer you cola as a king. Where, where is it though? Oh, don't ask me that. For it is already happening here and now. What sort of letter did you write to me? Your Majesty, I promised to send a message across to you. You already know me. I keep to my promises. You don't understand or know, do you? I want you to explain to me the content of that letter. What does it mean? I am here for that. Explain it to me. Your Majesty, I am sorry I have nothing to explain. What I wrote is the true position of things. And that is all. Will you at least come in and sit? Hmm. Mommy, you're looking very happy. Is that something you're not telling me? I should be happy. Okay, I don't understand. Does it have anything to do with the meeting you held with Dad? Did he tell you something nice? I don't know. What do you mean by I don't know? It's nothing. Mom? Yes? Are you hiding something? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <sighs> I'm in the mood to drink. Can you get me something nice to drink? And you are telling me there is nothing. Mommy, can you spill the beans? Okay, I am a grown-up girl now. I can handle anything. What is it? Why are you surprised? I'm surprised because you didn't tell me you were coming. I am the president and CEO of this company. I have the right to come in here anytime, remember? Yes, you have the right to come around, but I wasn't expecting you. That is all right. How has business been today? Well, Dad, business has been good. I spoke to Mr. Mark a couple of minutes ago. Oh, about the trucks we paid for, right? Yes, exactly. Dad? Yes, son. Are you alright? Of course I am. Why did you ask? Your countenance stays otherwise. I am fine. Well, I have to be in my office for a while before I leave. I'll see you then.
that woman is something else. Why would she be fighting over what rightfully belongs to another? That is it, my friend. Ngozika is just troublesome. I don't know. Talking about her son, is he not that same son of hers that behaves like a lout? Oh, my friend. <laughs> I am glad you know that. That goes about sniffing all the banned substances. Looking for trouble everywhere. I wonder how he's going to rule this kingdom if he's made a king. It is not even just that. He is the second son and there is no way he can take over from his father when he is gone. Thank you, my friend. Your son, Chukunonso, is the first son and the rightful person to emerge as the king. Thank you, my friend, for that confirmation again. At least it's making my heart come down a little. This is crazy. Just don't mind her, Biko. Let's talk about something else. A women's guild, known as Ozuna Professionals, wrote me a letter. I know that guild. Mm -hmm. They are very professional. Exactly. Please, what do they want? They say they want to give me the leadership award. Eh? Yes. This is what we should be talking about, and not that Ngozik and our troubles. <laughs> anyway, in that letter, they said so much. They said a lot. I am thinking of going with powerful women like you to receive the award. <laughs> I am going to organize the women that will go with us. We are going to make it so loud mm -hmm. that award alone will put Ngozika in check. Trust Thank me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's drink to that. Yes. <laughs> mm. Chalky, chalky. Chalky, chalky. Mm, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, if I chuku. The naturally high operator. <laughs> now, nah, can came me last? I think. Look at Jogi. What did that girl smoke? What did the girl smoke? Because that girl finished me. She dealt with me. Man, that girl on a horse. Should I shock you? She smoked nothing. Velaro is naturally high when it comes to handling men that she likes. And that is why I arrange her for my man, the naturally high prince. Chucky, Chucky. You know, she actually told me that you finished her. Who is telling me the truth? <laughs> now just take a good look at us. We're smoking and we are having fun. But if Jerry were to be here, the reverse would have been the case. He would start telling me about my smoking habits, saying all sort of sermons, making me feel like I'm a terrible person. Forget about Jerry. Jerry is a Jew man now. You should have known that by now. In fact, Jerry should have become a priest. I'm telling you, he should have been a priest. I mean, someone that owns one big Aladura church. I mean, more leave Jerry issue, and you see that girl? I am going to buy her a car. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Are you serious? Of course, you know me too well, man. I don't say things I would not do. That girl was busy giving me pleasure. She was busy having fun. She was enjoying herself, but little did she know that she was sowing a seed for a car. <laughs> that means she deserves it. What? If I... this place? You mean you don't like this place? Fred, I am a princess. I am used to going to posh places. This place is not befitting. This place is called Midday Bar and it remains the most coded bar in this town. What does that mean? Baby, remember when you called me earlier? You told me you were honey. Okay. 
Even if I said I was honey, why did you bring me to such a place? We should be in the room, not a bar. Baby, me the bar. It's a crazy bar. Oh, we can do crazy things, okay? Just relax, I know you will like it. Come on. Kneel down and hands up. Is there a problem? This one you're telling me to kneel down. I said, kneel down and hands up. And then shut up. An unusual visitor barged in on me when I was doing my thing with my friend. Why did that happen? Sir, the only person who just left this office is the king, your father. Is it the one you're referring to as an unusual visitor? The only reason you were still alive is because of beautiful girl that I had last night. She finished me. But the next time this happens, the next time you allow someone gain access to my office without my consent, that will be your last day on earth. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now get out. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Uh huh. What is wrong with that? Did I hear you clearly? Your Majesty, you heard me clearly. Truly, what is wrong with it? Are you just realizing he smokes? He's been smoking here in the palace, even close to your window. Why are you making a case out of nothing? Honestly, I am disappointed in you. Yeah. I told you I caught your son smoking Indian hemp with his friend in the office. That is my company to be precise. Mm. And you're asking me what is wrong with that? Ah. Truly, your majesty, what is wrong with that? Smoking is smoking. Whether he smokes here at the palace or at the office, he smokes. Your majesty, please. If I Ichuku, my son, is a radical prince who will become a radical king, not like that son of yours who is a weakling and behaves like a woman. Get out of my presence. I said get out of my presence. <sighs> you don't need to shout. I'll go. Hmm. Ah. What kind of a woman did I marry? Why am I the only one worried about this? I can bet mom is more worried than you. So why are you not thinking about it? Marriage is a beautiful thing. And as the one who will take over from the king, you should have a wife by now. I know mom put those words in your mouth. No, that's not true. I'm talking about it because the time is ripe. Well, unfortunately, I have not seen the woman to marry. So go tell the person that sent you, mom, I know, tell her exactly what I said. Hmm. So should I take that to mean you are searching already for one? Or should we assist you in getting one? Well, assist yourself in getting a husband. When you do that, you can assist me. But as long as you're not single, let me be. Mom, I cannot do without smoking. Smoking is part of me. It is my addiction. You have your addiction. You take white wine every day, so 
that is your addiction. Smoking is my addiction. Not just any smoke, the one that I mold by myself. And no one, no one will stop me. I don't even have time to explain to anybody. It's okay, son. I understand you. Don't mind your father. He's just been very lame and numb. Just like Chupunonso. Why will he even barge into my office? Looking for a cheap excuse he will never get. Mom, do you know what I feel like eating tomorrow? Mm -hmm. A well-prepared vegetable cocoa yam. Just like the one grandmother used to prepare. The more reason you should start thinking about getting married. You know, you get a wife who will cook whatever you want to eat. Do you know the stress involved in preparing vegetable cocoa yam? But Mother, that's what I want to eat tomorrow. Well, I want us to discuss something else. But I don't think it's the right time yet. I don't understand. I know. Son, I know you won't understand. Well, you know I hate things like this. I hate things like this. How can you start something you know you are not going to finish? Well, mm. well it's not that if you... If you it's, yeah, uh, welcome. Hey, where are you coming from by this time of the night? I went to see a friend. A friend? Yes, ma'am. A friend that has no name? Put me this now. How don't it concern you? Do you know my friends? Do you? I beg, I just go beg you, respect yourself this night. Did they hear me so? I don't want to holler. I go sleep. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. I think I would also go and sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, sir. Good night. Tell them I will see them when I return from work in the evening. Okay? Oh, okay, my friend. Uh, what about Ichi Okolo? You know he wanted to see you personally the other time you came with the other Aidas. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I will see him when I return from work. Okay, my friend. Prince Chukunonso of Uzuno Kingdom. I can see you have some messages for the elders in Kansa, right? Um, how is that your business? Well, I just want to tell you to stop parading yourself and presenting yourself as a more relevant prince. What does that mean? My son will emerge as king after your father. Are you not tired yet? You don't seem to understand, right? <laughs> Listen, I know the succession process in this kingdom much more than you know. So stop wasting your time and listen, let me tell you something. My son, Ifani Chukwu, will be the king, the future king of this kingdom. Mark my words. Someday, you will get to understand what I told you this day. What crime did my father commit that it ended up with this kind of a woman? I'm surprised you're the one doing this. 
Why play into her hands by remaining here? Get up and go to work. That woman has spoiled my day. You know, she said she knows a lot about succession procedure in our kingdom. That I should mark her words. That if I knew Chuku will emerge the next king. And because of that, you're here looking wounded. Come on, brother. Gladden my heart and see that woman for who she really is. A mischief maker. So you understand? That woman spoke to me. And she spoke to me like someone who knows certain things that we don't know. She doesn't know anything. You worry too much. Do not fall for one of her cheap tricks. She's just trying to break you. I think so? I know so. You can ask further about her. Ngozeka is a busybody. That is why I'm here now. To give me that information. Please. You, mean, you mean you came to my house this early just to ask me the content of the letter I sent to your brother the king? Yes. The letter came from you. And it has devastated my brother. I'll be asking him. Tell me what you wrote in the letter. Tell me the context of the letter. And my brother is not saying anything to me. I am disappointed in you, Doka. Why? Why? How can you leave your house this early just to ask me this? Such questions. No, no, it, no. Don't see it as a triviality. It is something serious, you know. Who? Akajugo. I am not an outsider. The man in question that you wrote a letter to and got him destabilized is my only brother. And he is not finding what you wrote. He's not finding it funny. He is not himself anymore. So, is it possible for you to tell me exactly what you wrote on him? I, I, I don't want to lose my brother. I am sorry, Udoka. I cannot tell you what I wrote to your brother. Why? And I would not like to continue this discussion, please. The adverts you saw in the newspapers that brought you here is not based on falsehood, like most of the adverts you see flying around. We are the best when it comes to steelworks, and our roofing department is unarguably the best in this country. So, can we talk business? Mr. Ifan Obiako, right? Wrong. Prince Ifan Ichuku Obiako. Sorry, Prince Ifan Ichuku. It's not in doubt that your company produces high quality steel. My partner here has something in mind which he would like to ask. Why not? Come on. Let's hear you. Sorry to ask, Prince Ifan Ichuku. It's okay. It's just that we don't like dealing with people who indulge in certain acts. I don't understand. What certain acts are you talking about? Do you smoke Indian hemp? What, what sort of questions? What kind of examination is that? Don't be offended, Prince Ifani. I've been smelling this flavor of Indian hemp since we came into the office. Exactly. And we don't like dealing with people who take that to avoid troubles. Prince Ifani Chuku. What does that mean? What are you trying to talk about? That I'm a mad person or what? No, 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 not really. Far from that. We are only saying that people who take Indian hemp... Get out of my office. It has not got you to this extent, Prince Ifani Chuku. I will not repeat myself. I will not say it again nicely. You can do business, please. We are only avoiding troubles. Get out of my office. Talk to me, see if I... What? As one of the princesses in Uzuno Palace, I expect your reasoning to be above the reasoning of ordinary girls. And that is the truth. Oh, do you think otherwise? Not exactly, but I'm wondering why you're finding it difficult doing what you asked. I never said I am not going to do it. 
The issue now is that I am just not in the mood to talk. How do you want us to put you in the mood? We're ready to talk. Why did you do that? Because of my sister. Because of that fool. Which fool? Cynthia. That is her mother's car in there. And I know she's going to die when she sees me doing this. So, where do you want us to go and make this thing real good? Honestly, I never wanted to do anything to me. But because of that fool, I am so going to do it. If she wants to die, let her die. Yeah. So let's go inside and you know. Hey, come on, come on, baby, look, he's so hot. No! <laughs> oh! Hey. You mean he refused to tell you what the letter was all about? Denise, are you barely right? He refused to say anything. The most annoying part is that Ono Waka Jugo told me that he is disappointed in me for even asking. Can you imagine that? So, what could that be? I don't know. And, uh, but I will promise you something. I am going to find out. Not as if I am bothered, but I am just curious to know. I will know what is in that letter. Trust me. Okay. Let me get going. I'll see you later. Try and come back at the place. I will. Bye. I was dumbfounded. You should have seen the way she was busy caressing those guys. To be honest, Mom, she didn't even coordinate herself when she saw me. She kept doing what she was doing. <laughs> hey. Are you just knowing Chidera is a whore? You <laughs> are the one who is a whore. You are a whore. So you've been eavesdropping on our conversation, Azija. Are you not ashamed of yourself and your daughter? You should be ashamed of yourself and your mother. Eh? Oh, oh shut up! What's that? Ngozi, can look at what you're doing to your children. You're just turning them into something else. Thank God you said they are my children, not your children. Because they are my children, I have the right to give them whatever orientation I want. It is not your business. Can you hear yourself talk? Oh, shut up. Can you listen to yourself? You should talk to Chidera. If you really love her as you claim, talk to her. Will you shut that your printed mouth? Look at this one. Who knows what you're doing secretly? Hey! Hey, shut up! Don't what is that? Lousy, that Will you shut up? Oh, shut With your daughter. Daughter. Look at this one! They are all hot! Forget me! 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 She was not like this when I married her. She was a decent woman. Why marry her in the first place, Father? My mother gave birth to me immediately after her marriage, which simply implies that she wasn't barren. Why involve this family in this needless war caused by polygamy? I learned your brother chased away some men that came for business at the office. Father, please, I don't want to discuss the family trouble. I've told you what to do. Hand him over to drug law enforcement agents and they will teach him some business lessons. Why? You couldn't answer, why do you hate your brother this much? Why do you want him to be arrested? It's obvious you don't want this solved. Okay, fine. Good. Please, what about the file I gave you to correct for me? I want to see what you've done. 
Go to my room. On the bed, there is a briefcase. The file is in there. Thank you. Hello? Uh, uh, yes, yes. It will be my pleasure to have you at the palace tomorrow at noon. Yeah, actually there is a problem. But it's not something you cannot solve. Yeah, it's something you can handle. As a retired US Marine, you are the one I can talk to. Yes, thank you. From the Prime Minister. Am I dreaming of what? What? You read the letter addressed to the king? Don't make me begin to believe that you are as useless as they say. How could you read the king's letter? You no, know, Wakaju, the issue is that I have read the letter already. And as a result of that, I couldn't sleep last night. Would you mind explaining to me what you wrote in that letter? Is the king aware that you read the letter? No. He's not aware. I don't know what to tell you now. You saw a letter addressed to the king. You read it. And you approached me, the sender, to explain what I wrote. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Well, no, Wakajugo. I know you are a man that jokes a lot. Please assure me that what you wrote in that letter is one of your jokes. Unfortunately, what I pen down is the emphatic position of succession of this land. It is not a joke and will never be a joke. If you don't mind, I would want to be left alone. Well, unfortunately, I'm not stepping an inch until you explain to me what you wrote in that letter. Chidera, I will ask you this for the very last time. Is it true? What do you mean, if it's true? She's grown up. She's old enough to, to have a boyfriend. Boyfriend or boyfriends? And does it really matter? Will you shut up? Look at this idiot! You are there for you to talk back at me? Are you mad? Look at this stupid daughter of yours. She is sleeping with two friends. Does that make you a big girl? Does that make you a big girl? Look at this stupid. You you're, you're, you're stupid. I am not stupid. I'm more worried for you and I will slap the hell out of you. Look at this idiot. Do you look ashamed of yourself? It is okay if I need to go. You should be shouting at Chukunoso and her sisters, not your sister. Look, Mom, I do not have a word for you. You, be careful. Be careful! Pray I don't catch you and those stupid bastards that you are rolling with. And mother, why are you not condemning this in any way? Your stupid daughter here is sleeping with two men and you are not bothered? You are not bothered! Nonsense! Pray I don't catch you! Mommy! But mommy, why is he shouting? Why is he shouting? You shut up. Just shut up. What's your problem? Why are you so loose? You are dating two men and you're not even denying it. Don't let me slap you. What's that? Mommy, you too, you want to shout? You, you want to shout at me? You are even worse than me. Yes! Mommy, I have been going through your phone and I know all your boyfriends. Yes. Just maintain your name. Respect yourself and maintain your name so we don't have a head-on collision. You want to shout? Ah. This girl is evil. So she's been going through my phone. Oh, 
morning, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, my beautiful damsel. Good morning, Your Majesty. I hope you slept well. Yes, Dad. Yes, Dad. Good morning, Your Majesty. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And you? I'm fine. Has anyone seen Nanso this morning? Uh, no. no. I was about coming to ask you if you've seen him because we are trying to call his number and it's switched off. I have been calling the number myself and it's switched off. That is why I came to see if he's here. No one has seen him in the palace. Besides, no one saw him leave the palace. I hope nothing has happened to him. Your Majesty, what should we do? Uh, I know this will have to do with Zephaniah and his mother. Oh no, don't say that. Let's not be hasty in drawing conclusions. I think we should give him some time. Maybe he will return our calls or even return to the palace. Oh no, you were emphatic in that letter. That any of the king's sons, brothers, or even family members can match king. And not necessarily his first son. I don't know why a man in your position would write a thing like that. My prince, don't make it appear as if I sat down in my house and wrote down what never existed. What I wrote is the position of succession in our land. I can go down memory lane and call kings and how they emerged. Why is this so? It is not being done like that in other kingdoms. Why must our own be different? That is a question I cannot answer, my prince. As I've already told you, it is our tradition. The two wives of the king are trying to burn down the palace. And I needed to remind him that we are not restricted to his sons. The other members of the royal lineage can be considered because they are also part of the real lineage of Uzuna. That means I stand the chance of losing the throne. No, that can be. Oh, no. What should I do? Nothing. Nothing? Yes. The living will decide who becomes king after your father must have joined our ancestors. If it happens to be you, so be it. If not, know that it's not your fate to be king. I am disappointed that the two princes in the palace are busy discussing succession while the king is still alive. That is disrespectful. I am officially done with this meeting. How could that be? That can't be possible. How sure are we that Zephani and the mom did not bribe the Prime Minister to fake the so-called tradition? Uh, I thought about that. And then again, I remember that the Prime Minister is a noble man who does not involve himself in any form of cheating or deceit. Nothing is impossible, my brother. Nothing. Chioma is right. Why would our tradition be different from others? I mean, that is crazy. I'm confused. Honestly. He told me that any descendant of Obia Konzakon Obi can emerge as the king. And there's no place for the first son of the sitting king. <sighs> Have you discussed that with your father? Not yet. Then we need to hear from him this moment. Son, it is not my fault. I am glad you confirmed from the Prime Minister that it is our tradition. Yes, the Prime Minister said it. But you are the king. The custodian of our tradition. What kind of hopeless tradition is that? I still can't believe this. It is simple, Your Majesty. 
Just like the Prime Minister told you also, that it is the living that decides who emerges king after the demise of the sitting king. I want you to decide on that and name Chukunoso here the heir to your throne. Yes. Impossible! That will never happen. At least not when I'm still alive. I guess you have a hand in this. I, couldn't, I don't really care what you think. Your Majesty, Uzuno Kingdom deserves a radical king. A decisive man who could solve problems, not some spineless individual. If you ask me, my king, if I need you, is the man. You're shameless, Ngozika. You're so shameless. I agree with you, Akune. I am shameless. Only fools refer to what they don't know as shameful. You are daft, Akune. Which is better? Your plans will never work. Neither would you. Oh, oh shut up, oh, Keep quiet. Oh, shut up. All I know is that my brother must be named the heir to the throne. Oh, shut yes. up. No, you shut, shut up. up. Oh, shut, shut up. up. Oh, shut up. You need to talk back to her. Shut up. They want to name that weekend Jokunonso the heir to the throne. When I have an able son who is capable of ruling this kingdom, <laughs> ah, that will never happen. But, mommy, why didn't you tell Ifa and Chuku and I about the letter? I just did. You should have at least told us before now. The king forced me to take an oath. Honestly, you people do not understand the politics in this palace. Get me that phone. I want you to leave whatever you're doing in that office and come home right away. Mom, I don't, I don't like the way you're sounding. What is the problem? Why are you asking me so many questions? Just come home. Look, Mom, I don't know how you're sounding this way, but I have a gun in my room. I can tell you where to pick it up. Use it to defend yourself until I get there. I don't have any use for a gun. Just come home. Exactly. This is the right time to tell him everything. But these people are very stupid. What makes them feel that Chukunonso, with his sluggish and his lame lifestyle, will make a better king in the kingdom? <sighs> Mom, you mentioned the gun. Are you going to use it? Shut up. Just shut up. Son, you have to go to work. You occupy a sensitive position in that company. I am begging you. Please go to work. When you come back, we will talk things over. I'm sorry, Dad, I can't. In fact, I won't. I feel so uncomfortable leaving this palace right now when my betrayal is at stake. Son, I understand your pain. Believe me, I am not happy about this either. Then name me the heir to the throne. That will solve it all. It is not as simple as that, my son. Then it's complicated. I'm sorry, Dad, don't take this personal. Don't see that I walked out on you. But at this point, I need to be alone.
Why didn't you tell me all this while? A lot of things came up. The king threatened me. Moreover, I felt it wasn't the right time. I don't understand. You mean to tell me that I, if I in Chukwu, can emerge as king? Yes, son. I knew it was possible even before the Prime Minister sent that letter. But I, I just wanted to be sure. You heard what Mom just said now. If you like, keep saying, the throne belongs to my elder brother. That reminds me of exit card in secondary school. underestimate your brother. The king told me in confidence that the process is not an easy one. I wonder what that means. So you're here. Prince. I heard that you and your mother were on the verge of making the king proclaim you as the heir apparent to the throne. Ifanjo, we invited you to this meeting. This is my father's palace. My future palace! And I have the right to walk in anytime. A point of correction. This is my palace, not yours, and can never be yours. My brother is right. You and your mother are just wasting your time, hoping you become king. Never. Not now, not ever. I was not interested in the throne before now. But after my mom told me everything, I realized that the throne belongs to me. If I in Chukwu of Uzuno, the one that is naturally high. Beautiful. Now, let me tell you, we don't have a problem with your state of highness. That's your business. You can smoke your brains off if you so care. It doesn't pay to us. But I want to advise you to work up from your dream. Because the truth of Ozuno can never belong to you. It can never, never. Watch it happen. I can see now that those nonsense you smoke have entered deep into your brains. Are you just getting to know? If I should believe you. Leave here this minute! He said you should leave. Leave! What would you do? You want to know? Adam, I see you grown balls. Oh, if I should leave, leave here! Get out! What if he doesn't leave? What will happen? My friend, move. What will happen? Once you can leave my living room. Excuse me? I said, leave my living room. Is this what you call a living room? A place you couldn't even tidy up? Son, please talk. Mom, you don't need to tell her to leave. Cynthia and I. Drag her out. Yes. You wish. Try it. One more word from you. You will see how brutal I am. If I you, don't provoke me further. Don't provoke me further! Because I'm boiling! <laughs> One more step! One more step! Like you will know what I will do! Move! Said you should move. Shut up. So that's the contents of the letter? Yes, Odoka. And now it has brought more problems. It is like adding salt to injury. This is so confusing. How come I am not aware of that? Aware of what? I mean, that particular provision of our tradition. I am hearing, I am hearing it for the very first time. Odoka, I am as confused as you are. I don't know why Onowo decided to write that letter. And now it has destroyed what was left of the peace that we were trying to build. Mom. 
Lord Longozika is a woman of this kingdom and she understands the order of succession to the throne. The first son takes over from the king. I am sure she knows this rule. Why didn't she position her son? Finally, here you are. This is where you came to plant your retarded self. Whatever it is you're planning will not work. For your information, I am going nowhere. You have drawn the battle line. I accept your challenge. But you do not know what you're dealing with. Soon, you will. Do not push me beyond the limits I can take. Do not. Because if you dare succeed in doing that, I will turn you off. Are you threatening me? Huh? Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? Do you want me to turn you off first? You're a fool to think I'll be threatened by this stupid gun of yours. Pull the trigger. No, if you think you're man enough, pull the trigger. Let's see who will drop dead here. You couldn't. Useless animal. You dug your grave the very second you decided to contest my death right. But you know what? I will turn you off. Fine, Chukun. If fine, Chukun, I pass for me well. If I swore me well, I'm for you, I can do. Really? <laughs> My sister, that is the latest. <gasps> but you know what? Whether they like it or not, my brother will be the king of this kingdom. <laughs> Lizzie. Lizzie. Oh, Chidera, I'm so, so sorry, okay? Where were you? Something just got into my mind now. Okay. Now, what could that be? Yeah, Chidera, come to think of this. What if your brother gets married to me and becomes the king? <coughs> Don't you think I'll be the next queen in this land? <coughs> What's funny? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, Lizzie, are you serious or you're pulling my legs? <sighs> Chidera, why is, what are you saying? Why will I be pulling your legs? Hey? Chidera, just take a very good look at me. Am I not the true definition of elegance? And let me ask you this. What happens if your brother settles with me and makes me his wife? Is he not going to be the happiest man on earth? Um, Lizzie, please. It's not as if I'm insulting you. I don't get it. Eh? Don't just forget about that topic. Chidera, hmm? why? Please, let's forget about it, please. <sighs> that picture we took yesterday, very beautiful. I didn't look at that in the picture. Just the picture, forget that. It's a big Chidera. It is clear from the look on your faces that there is something bothering you. Is it something I can solve? Yes, Dad. We believe you can solve the problem. And by that you just confirmed there is a problem. What exactly is it? It is about the problem in the family. I mean, the problem caused by polygamy. As unfortunate children, who have found themselves on the crossroads in this needless battle. We have started reading books on polygamy. What? Are you serious? What books? I mean, who are the authors? Dad, we have come to know 
that problems rise in polygamous homes like ours if the head is not decisive enough. That is when laxities are left unchecked. So we are here to talk to you as your daughters. Please solve this problem. So how do you want me to solve this problem? Chukunonsu, our brother, your first son, will make a good king. He's calm, gentle, and pays attention to details. He is made in the mood of kings. Yes. We want you to issue a statement that he is the heir to the throne. And not Ifani, who is not only disrespectful, but also smokes all the banned substances. Is there anything I said you didn't understand, if I go? Are you done? How do you mean if I am done? I just told you your sister fought with Choma and Cynthia, and that your sister was the cause of the fight. And you're asking me if I am done? How has women fighting and exchanging words in this palace suddenly become my business? Is this why you called me for this meeting? I want you to talk to your sister. Talk some sense into her as the elder brother that you are. Oh, you just confirmed to me that this is the reason you called me for this meeting. I am disappointed. For your information, I do not discuss women. I have more busy things to do than that. You dare not walk out on me. I have heard you. I know what to do. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. You're joking, you will not understand. You will not understand! Look, I am boiling inside! I am boiling! Calm down. Calm down, If my I had man. blasted that bastard and sent him to hell, tell me, what would have happened? Perhaps you would have been arrested, prosecuted, and sent to prison. Is that what you want? Is it not better? It's not. It is better. It's not better. It is better. Look at the fool that cannot stand before a woman and talk. Coming to stand before me to compete with me. And on top of that, aspiring to become the next king of our kingdom. How is that possible? Listen, I'm sure your father will not make the mistake of naming him the heir to the throne. The throne is yours because you are able and capable. Calm down. Sit down. Let me prepare you something good to smoke. Joking. If you must get me something, get me something that will calm my freed nerves. Please. Don't worry. I will get you what you want. I will add Ijabu stuff in it. And you will feel so good right now. Calling me this morning, son, is the best thing you have done. And I, I sincerely appreciate this call. Yeah. But my problem is, when are you coming back to this country? Or have you made America your work? Is all right? Yes. Yes. It's okay. It's okay, son. Oh, your mom. Just as if she timed you. She, she just said that uh, she's actually standing at me. You want to say hi to her? Okay, you just hold on. Be very brief. <laughs> Hello, son. Yes, I'm here. Um, okay, I'll tell her mother what you said, okay? Take good care of yourself for me, okay? And don't forget to be a good boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, bye. Is everything all right? Teresa. Why are you looking at me like that? 
I heard what you said to my son, and I cancelled everything immediately. What did you hear? What are you cancelling? How could you be planning this disaster right under my nose without telling me? How could you? What disaster are you talking about? You just said to my son that you will call her mother to tell her what my son said. It simply means you have been arranging a wife for my son right under my nose. Can you deny it? Ichi Udoka. So arranging a wife for my son is what you call disaster. When will you stop being careless with words? When? Careless with words? Yes. Did anybody arrange you for me? No, was I not the one that arranged you for myself? Is that not why I've been managing you? Despite all the nonsense I've been doing? Because I find it for myself? How could you be planning to arrange your wife for my son? I, I, are you okay? Listen to me. Don't try it. Because I want my son to marry an American woman. No way! My son will never do a thing like that. Yes, who is there? Good morning, Sheodoka. Uh, palace guard, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. The king wants you immediately. Is there a problem? I don't know, for I'm only a messenger in the palace. Go back to the palace and tell the king I will be with him shortly. There is something I want to trash out with my wife before coming. Very important. All right. The king will be of that. Please listen to me. Whatever plan you have is here by council. Don't even call my son to say any nonsense to him concerning anyone. In fact, I will call him myself. Let me just surrender and go and see him. Not in this house. My presence is needed at the palace. Yes or no? It's okay. Return to the palace. I'll be there soon. It's alright or no? I'm bothered that my mother, who is the original queen in this palace, is not here. I am the king of this land. And directly, I am the head of this family. I called this meeting. And I know why I brought in the unknown. If I left your mothers out of this meeting, you should know I have a reason. So you mean my mother is equally not part of this meeting? There have been a lot of fighting and quarreling in this palace, which is irritatingly getting out of hand. And that is why I have summoned you all before this sacred staff, so that we can settle this problem once and for all. The Onowu is here as a witness. Father, we are listening. Tell us how you intend to solve this issue. Do not be faster than your shadow, if I to go. I want to name my successor. And I am not going to waste so much time on that. Brief your mothers accordingly. I hereby declare, Prince, you will do no such thing. Your Majesty. What? It is not in your power to name the successor. What do you mean, Anu? The king must do his best. And afterwards, join our ancestors. The staff of the kings returns as the property of the kingdom. The selection of who succeeds him is something the living will.
decide. But Onu Wakajugo, that is exactly what the king wants to do now that he is alive. To name one of his sons as a successor. So that when he dies, there will not be any problem in the family. Do you have any problem with that? Uh, thank you, Udoka. God will bless you. That is why I had never for once regretted having you as a brother. Thank you. I am disappointed. Highly disappointed. How could it be said that men who are born in the lineage of kings do not know the custom of the land as it concerns succession to the throne? Nobody in Uzu now is allowed to discuss succession as long as the king is alive. I am leaving. I will not be a witness to anything. You may continue your family declaration. And let me state it clearly, without fear or contradiction, whatever you declare here remains here and has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with Uzu no. no. Why do I have a feeling that Ono just aborted a coup? Father, are you the head of this school? I'll dig! <laughs> and I will slap you again! Your Majesty, no matter the provocation, you shouldn't have slapped your son. I shouldn't be telling you this because I believe you, know. Odoka, can we forget about that fool and concentrate on the confusion the Ono has created in this family? I don't know why I invited him in the first place. Oh, my brother, you should not be blaming yourself for inviting him. Why? You do the right thing. Such a giant meeting where you plan to make a declaration on the revered staff of the kings of Uzuno cannot happen without the Ono of the land. So inviting him here was never a mistake. Don't blame yourself. My only problem now is that he has poured more fuel into the fire burning in this palace. And I, I just don't know how we are going to quench that fire now. Honestly, I have run out of ideas. I don't know what to do. But there is something going on in my mind. What is it? The Onowu has been acting strange. Yeah. Are you sure he's not planning to terminate royalty from our family? Is it possible? But the way it's going, I'm thinking so. You could be right. Oh. Yeah, but we cannot afford to draw conclusions just like that. We have to investigate further. You know what you think? You have a point. I blame myself. I blame myself in all of this. Why? Why blame yourself? Because Father warned me. Father confided in me that he was going to invite Ono. And I said yes. I want to know Yala. I didn't know he could do a thing like this. Brother Chukunoso, should I tell you something? I knew that Ono is a man of many sides. That was why I raised the alarm when I saw him. Finally, he crumbled everything. I hate that man. I hate that man so much. Just imagine a declaration that would have ended the war in this palace. I wonder why he was invited. The most annoying part was his conclusion. He said no successor can be named until the passage of the king. You know what that means? They want to name another. <laughs> but I'm a <mafis> here. <laughs> name who? Ifa Ichiko. Is Ono that stupid? How can 
anyone bestow kingship on a lunatic? How? He's already behaving stupidly, so I wouldn't know. In all this, I am confused. I'm very confused. Is there anyone we can approach for broader clarification? Oh no, who cannot be the ultimate decider of the way forward? Why on earth will he slap me? He knew I was making a valid point. I swear to God, mother, if not that I was in the presence of the revered staff of kings, else I would have rushed him. Excuse me? What did you just say? You would have rushed your father as in engaging him in a fight? If he wasn't ready to be engaged in a fight, he wouldn't have drawn the first blood. They planned to name that fool the successor through a, a, a crooked declaration. Why are you not seeing that coup, mother? I sensed it when I was excluded from that meeting. But I thank God the only one who aborted it. Mom, from what I saw back there, the no-nonsense Uno has finally put the last nail on their coffin. They will never try it again. Uno Akajugu has saved this palace from going up in flames. And they should all be thankful to him for what he did. Well, well, well. Let us all forget about what has already happened and start strategizing. According to the Ono, a successor can only be named after the expiration of the king. We should start planning on how you will be the one to be named. Bring it on, Mother. What plans do you have? Oh no. That is what we think. So please tell us, is that really your plan? Your Majesty, I can't believe that you can think such about me. Oh no, everything is possible. But we want you to forgive us and understand if it is in any way a false allegation. Because right now, I am not thinking straight. In fact, I don't know what to think. You mean to tell me that you think that I, Ono Akajugo, am planning to terminate royalty from your family? What for? Why on earth will I do that? Ono, Ono, please, don't be offended. For that same reason we sent for you. Yes. Because we, we want to hear from you firsthand and convince ourselves that we are still on the same page. Exactly. Is it not better that way? than sitting back in our family pointing accusing fingers towards you please talk to us well if you must know i have no such intention all i want is for things to be done the right way that's all uh, your majesty Please, you better not play into the hands of your wives and destroy your family. That's an advice. Go through history and discover that when the destruction of great men is planned, women play a cardinal role in it. Do not play into their hands. Your Majesty, I... I think I understand perfectly the point Uno Wakajugo made. You do? Yes. Yes, Your Majesty. He is interested in doing things the right way. Not the way your wives want them to be done. I, I mean, you, you mean you believed him when he said he has no intentions of terminating royalty Your Majesty, from our family? I believe him absolutely. Uno Wakajugo has no interest whatsoever in royalty. He is simply interested in ensuring that we do it the right way. That we don't succumb to the pressure that is being mounted and do it the wrong way. That is what he wants, and I believe him, Your Majesty. If you say so, it's all right. 
This is serious. Very serious indeed. But don't you think you know who is right? How exactly do you mean? Of course. The two women my brother married are the ones poisoning the minds of their children. I mean their sons and their daughters. The Prime Minister has come to clear everything to us. Give us a very clear explanation. And yet, these women are still positioning their sons. You know, to take over from the king. I, I, I don't understand. To be honest with you, I am tired and speechless. I am just hoping. Seriously, Teresa, I am hoping that those desperate women, eh? I am just hoping they will not kill my brother before his time. God forbid. Nothing like that will happen. The way they are going? No, the way they are going? You don't think so? You are that man, if, if, if you are the man they are padding this kind of pressure on, you don't think you will drop dead? Do you manage your man, do you manage your headache? Don't worry. I understand how you feel. But you need to go to work. You've not been to work for a couple of days now. Choma, you don't understand. Honestly, I do. No, you don't. How do you expect me to concentrate at work when the possibility of permanently losing the truth stares me in the face? That is why I'm telling you, you need to compose yourself. Brother, this is war. And people win wars by composing themselves. You cannot win any war when you are disorganized. No. Choma. Are you aware that that idiot, that Nikon Pope, moves around this kingdom with a pistol? Are you serious? Yes! I'm telling you! Because he has once put the door against me, and I boldly squared up to him. I am very sure that he had that gun when Father slapped him. Have you told Father about this? I know what to do. Trust me. He is one person I know that can fight all authorities and demons. And he will ensure that royalty remains here. Look at you, my friend. You look disorganized. You no longer go to work, nor care how things are being done over there. You don't get it, Tony, do you? I get it. You are afraid of losing the throne to your younger brother. Exactly, Tony. The politics is top notch. These people are strategizing and perfecting their plans on a daily basis. See, I can't just relax and be going to work pretending that all is well only for me to wake up one day or return from work and realize that this idiot has taken over this kingdom. That will not happen. Chukuna, so I will suggest you put yourself together and put everything in God's hands. There you go wrong, Tony. Because I belong to the school of thought who believes that it is foolish for me mortals to disturb God over things they can handle as mortals. This is one of them. And I'm handling it. Leave God out of this. I never bargained for all this. Imagine a multi-million Naira company abandoned just because I want to stay at home to make sure that my birthright is not handed over to another. Are you now regretting your actions? Don't you think the throne is more important than the company? I know. But all these things wouldn't have been a problem if Father hadn't married that mysterious woman. She's the cause of all this. Brother, 
we've come a long way. And we can't afford to go back. I know, Chama. But see, my office is just there with only the secretary. That is not good enough. Okay. Will you permit me to go there and help you run the office? Remember, I studied business management in school and I can do that for you. What? Are you serious? You're going to do that for me? <laughs> Come on. I'm not just doing it for you. I'm doing it for us. All of us. Remember, family is everything. Oh. Sorry. This is one name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Chidera. Chidera, you won't believe your brother shouted at me. You won't believe he shouted at me as if I was a piece of trash. Oh, I feel so ashamed of myself right now. But why would you do that? You know my brother is not in his right frame of mind. I know. And that was why I did that, hoping to take away his worries. You don't know my brother. He doesn't fall easily for women. Chidera, I know about all this already. He told me about it. He told me he likes to pick his bitches himself. He said that to you? Um, and you don't know what that means? He called you a bitch like it's written all over you? Chidera, if there's one thing I don't like, I don't like to be insulted. What are you trying to say? I, I'm sorry. You're trying to call me a bitch? No, I'm sorry, but... One thing I know is my brother lives on weed. <sighs> if you have to do anything with him, then you have to do the same. It's okay. I do. Well, if you like throw yourself at my brother, he will never look your way. I said it's okay. It's okay. I must be named the heir to the throne. Becoming the custodian of the staff of the kings is my obsession for now. And I must handle it as king or set it ablaze. My prince, I've already told you that the throne is yours. Relax. Relax. My prince, can I say something? You are free to say whatever it is you want to say. I guarantee freedom of speech. Or freedom after speech, I cannot guarantee. Okay, my prince, can I ask you a question? Go on, I'm listening. Okay, my prince. My prince, what will happen if finally you are not named the heir to the throne of your fathers? What sort of question is that? My brother, I am asking a question as a friend. And I deserve a simple answer. This is the problem I have with you, Jerry. You were just a pessimist. My prince, I'm not. Prince, if I you go, my point is that you have nothing to lose at all. If your brother emerges the king, you will still relate with him just like the way your father relates with his brother. That is my point. Jerry, can you hear the rubbish you are blabbing to a friend? I'm not blabbing any rubbish here. And listen up, Chucky. Our duty here is to guide our friend properly. And not give him a fake and an irresponsible advice. My prince, you are the manager of Eastern Steel Limited. I mean, you are doing very well for yourself. Enough! And... Enough, Jerry before you provoke me, father. Look, if you do not have anything important to say, shut up. Jerry, as far as I'm concerned, you are not making any sense. And these are some of the reasons they threw you out of the seminar. Nonsense. My prince, the throne is yours. Calm down. I'm with you on this. Your son will 
never be named successor. But it will not work for you. You are a Musu. A Musu. May God not strike you. May God not strike you dead. Father, we see you. Go away from us. Father, we see you. Father of us. You don't need to wonder. Maybe till the king dies. You are right. Yes, I'm right. I even think one of them will have the intention of eliminating the king so that her son will become the king. I think so, Obiora. That must be Ifai's mother. They and are the cause of the problem in the palace. You know what? what? To me, they are both villains. Yes. You shouldn't say that. Why? We all know Prince Chukunonso is the first son of the family. And by right, he should be made the future king. Then he should wait till his father joins his ancestors. Before thinking of being king, he behaves as if he wants the man dead. Kofinello. My queen! For how long, Udoka? How long am I going to endure this? I have no peace in my home. They are fighting over something that is yet to happen. Maybe I should just die or kill myself so that everything will be over. Ezo Biako, there are certain things you just cannot say. You are a king. How can you say a thing like that? Women cannot kill you. Women that you marry. How is that possible? And you are not going to die because of women. Now listen, I don't know what else to do again. They will not just stop fighting. What do you expect me to do? My brother, calm down. Stop overworking yourself. You are beginning to feel frustrated. It is not good for you. Everything will be all right. Just don't worry, I will talk to them. And you think they will listen to you? There is no harm in trying. Fortunately, they are both from this land. So they will understand what I will explain to them. You have to you have to come down. Please. I will handle it. Hey! Mom, I wish I was there. I would have beaten that woman and her daughters blue black. Was Chugunan still there when all this happened? No, he was not. Mm. But his stupid mother was. I, I would have beaten that woman up, if not that your father intervened. Mom, I am just being calm. But they are pushing me. Well, son, there's something very important I would like us to talk about. What's that? Both of you are aware that Chioma now manages Royal Code Oil and Gas Limited. Originally managed by Chukunonso. So? They planned this thing so well to enable Chukunonso stay at home and walk his way to the throne. That is one. Another is, if I Chukun, you have not gone to work for some time now. So I want your sister to take over until things work out well. Mommy, I can't do that. Will you shut up? What do you mean by you, you, Mommy, I can't do that? I am not going to do that. You want me to go to the office in the morning, come back at night. Now that's going to be very stressful and boring for me. I know try am. I know it. Mom, who is this? Who is this? How did you give birth to this embodiment of nuisance? Mom is here trying to make your life productive. But all you want to do is go out there and then mess yourself around with men. That's all you want to do. Tidera, you can do this. It's not difficult. Moreover, it's for the meantime. Oh, don't you want your brother to be named the successor to the throne? Mom, are you pleading with her? Hey, you. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. You heard what mom said. 
Henceforth, you are going to do exactly what she has said. Must! Capital letters M-U-S-T. You must do what she has told you to do. Look, 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 look at this one. Chidera, please. It is for us. For our own good. I'll think I'm... Hey. Did you just say? Oh, no, please. Please, I need your help. You have to help me, please. How do you want me to help you, my prince? I, I, I don't know, but maybe by telling everyone that I am the rightful heir to the throne. Is it based on the fact that I am the first son of the king? You want me to do that? Yes, exactly. See, you know, anything you want, I can pay. Just name your price. Name your price. What do you take me for? I don't even mean to insult you. Just no. nothing. You have insulted me already, and I don't want you to do it any further. No, you see, I... There is nothing I can do for you, Prince Tukunon, so I can't help you. This conversation is over. Please, and in your life, do not ever attempt to give me a bribe, no matter the amount. My wife, I did not call for this meeting for you to fight and argue. No, because I am convinced that in your hearts, lie that gentle, good-mannered and calm woman my brother married. I want us to remember that. Because I want this meeting to hold under a calm atmosphere. Is that difficult to ask? My husband, you should be telling her that. Because she's the one causing all the problems in this palace. Are you not going to call this mad woman to order? Yeah, it's your late mother that is a mad woman. And your late mother who was a witch and died shamefully. That is why you gave birth to a worthless son who cannot even look at a woman in the face. Enough! Enough already! Nonsense. Both of you can't even show me respect. Hmm. What is going on? From what I have observed, it is so clear that both of you are the ones fighting the embers of this needless war in this palace. Can, can any of you deny it? My husband, she's the one fanning the embers of war. Because she should have told her what lesson. It is the first son that assumes office after his father. Mm. A young man who is so shy to even talk to a woman face to face should not be thinking of the throne. Your son is too naive to be nurturing such a lofty ambition. Enough! So it is your lofty Enough! Enough. Oh, shut up! Oh, shut Enough. up! Enough, fool! What is, what, is, what is this? Sense. Why are you doing this? Why are we exposing this family? Why? It is clear you don't know. The people of Uzono are watching. They are looking at us in this palace and they know what is going on. Very soon, they will discover that royalty is indeed big business. And when that happens, they will demand for rotational arrangement, which will see royalty Departing from this family for another family. We are going to lose the throne because another family will produce the king of Uzona. No, impossible. that will not happen. That will be impossible. Ah. Royalty will remain with us. And my son is going to become king after his father. Ta! Ah. Akune, in your wildest dream, keep dreaming, you useless, good for nothing queen. Musik, you just called me a queen. Mm -hmm. Watch my dreams come true, idiot. Ah, nonsense. Nonsense. Emotions, confusions, the war within us and between us, the fighting, the love. I have an idea. Choki, tell us about it. My prince. Why don't you take your brother out of the way? I beg your pardon? Yes. What do you mean by take your brother out of the way? You know what I mean. Eliminate him. Chuki! Have you gone nuts? No, I mean, are you out of your mind? Chuki, if I should understand you well, are you trying to tell us that 
You are suggesting that someone has to be killed because of this case? Yes. If that will solve the problem. Choki. And if I knew you are this mean and heartless. My prince. You know what? Thank you very much for your advice. But it hasn't gotten to that. Above all, my mother does not believe in wasting anyone. Oh. Thank God, at least someone is still thinking right. You guys are not thinking right. If there is a problem, men are expected to solve it. You guys are not thinking solution. So I'm not part of it. You're a devil. I insist. No one dies. Teresa, I did everything possible to settle those women. Then I discovered that indeed my brother married two mad women. They are around. Hey! Those queens are something else. What do they intend to do? You're calling them queens? Mad women at once you're calling queens? I don't know. Sincerely, I don't know. Would you want me to talk to them? You, talk to them. What are you going to say? After listening to what they did to me, you want to go and talk to them? That's very strange. Unless you are confirming to me that you have developed some element of madness in you as well. Talk to, talk to mad woman. Mm -hmm. That reminds me. What did you tell our son that made him stop picking my calls? He is my son. And that is why he listened to me. Are you confirming you're the one behind it? What did you tell him? The truth. I told him the truth. That I was the one that found you for myself. That nobody found you for me. Then I urged him to go ahead and find his own wife that he can manage the same way I have been managing you. In fact, I made it very clear to him that I want him to come back here with an American woman. Lies. Good lies. Ichi Udoka, I want you to pick your phone and call him. Tell him to come back here and choose his wife. I will not welcome an American woman. Never. In your house. I will not welcome an American woman. No, no, Kailu, call Who are you to be giving orders in my house? You know what? Just leave your phone and call, you, call him. Tell him what you just said. I should call him and tell him what? I tell him, tell him what, exactly what you just said. What do you want me to tell him? When you fed him with so much lies that he's no longer picking my calls. What do you want me to tell him? Do you know Pandadiam? With a goosey soup, with dried meat, those thick, thick ones. That's what I want to eat. Just go ahead and prepare it and stop interfering with a woman so marries. What nonsense is this? Looking for trouble for nothing. I can't wake up an American woman in my house. Is it not Nigerian woman that my brother married that I tried to turn the palace into, into a war zone? American woman. Don't make any mistake about it. Uh, Choma, I'm really happy and impressed over the way you've been managing the affairs of the company ever since I went on hiatus. I must tell you that I'm impressed. Please keep it up with the good work. You're welcome, brother. Okay. Moreover, you don't need to thank me. I'm doing it for us. Yeah, I know. And I assure you guys that I will never let you down. I must become the future king of this kingdom. I believe you. We must win this battle. Yes. We must win it, no matter what it takes. We must win. <laughs> yeah. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, who's there? Joseph. Come in. Good afternoon, madam. Yeah, good afternoon. Can I sit? If you want. Okay, how can I help you, please? 
I'll be needing your attention, madam. I'm listening. Um, I just want you to know that uh, you made a mistake on the number of goods what? that were... What are you insinuating? Uh, nothing, ma'am. Just that just I... Just hold it right there. Are you trying to say I don't know my job? You shut up. And even if I made a mistake, I are you in the best position to tell me? That's not what I'm shut saying. up! Just shut up! It's obvious you don't even have light in your house because your shirt is very rumpled. I have something on your shirt. Come on. Let me remove that. Can you come? Yeah. This. Don't you ever in your life try this again. If anybody has to tell me I make mistakes, I will know myself. Now get out of my office! Get out! Sorry, madam. Get out! Will you get out? Fool! A woman should be self-reliant. If you're self-reliant, as a human being, not just a, a woman, you can hold your own. No matter what happens, peradventure your spouse dies or leaves, you'll be able to stand tall. And Genera! Genera! What is it? How could you have made such a terrible mistake? How could you? What huh? is it? What is it? How could you? What is wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you shouting? You want to blame me? I told you, I don't want to manage company. You, you said to manage, now you are blaming me. You are shouting like a toothless bulldog. Try me first. Try me. Me? No, no, no. no. You. Stay out of my way. Stay. Me. No, no, no. Me. For, okay. Do you know what I mean? Don't shout at anyone. Try it now. Will you shut up? It's okay. Please forgive her. Forgive her. You will shut up. Don't, 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 don't talk again. Please. How else will I get him to understand that we live with enemies? Why are they finding it difficult to control their temper? Yes? What is it? Why are you staring at me like the witch you are? Can I sit and talk with you? What makes you think I want to talk with you? I come in peace. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I saw what happened. So? Is that what you want to talk about? No. Not at all. Listen, we mustn't fight all the time. We are co-wives, remember? <sighs> Listen. I am tired of this whole thing. I don't want us to fight anymore. I want peace to reign in this palace. I want peace to begin to come back amongst us. And both of us can work this out. How do you plan to achieve it? It is very simple. I want you to convince your son. Speak to him. Make him understand that Chukunonso is the eldest son. And he should be the king after his father. It's obvious you are still sick in the head. My brother and I weren't like this while we were growing up. We understood and tolerated ourselves. That's because none of you was insane. This my brother here is insane. Hold on. Did you just call me insane? Considering the amount of banned substance you inhale on a daily basis, I would be so shocked and surprised if you are sane. You are completely insane. Maybe you don't know. You know so. 
It is very obvious that you are beginning to grow balls. But I will crush them. Crush them! All you do. Put that useless gun of yours. I beg your pardon? What gun are you talking about? Oh, Father, from your question, I can understand. You don't even know what we've been up against in this palace. This useless son of yours has an illegal gun that he has been parading everywhere. What? Be careful with what you are reporting. Be careful. Oh, really? You won't deny it? The same very gun you pulled against me? Take that gun, pull the trigger! Fire! Let's see who dropped dead here. By that, you have just confirmed before the king here that you and your prostitute of a mother have been meddling with charms, and I will prove to you that I am superior to your charms. Will you shut up if I? Are you calling my wife a prostitute? That hold on. How dare you? Did no, you... no, I will make you regret this. No, 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 no. Did you just open your mouth right before me to call my mother a prostitute? Thank you. Is the man you married before? I used to be. Is a being a prostitute? I used to be. I used to be. Come on, stop doing this to yourself. Cynthia, I will not understand. I do, trust me. But that shouldn't turn you into a drunk. Not a drunk. I'm not. That idiot. That idiot has beaten more than he can chew. He has beaten more than he can chew, but... Trust me. Cynthia, I swear to God. I will kill him! No. No, 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 brother, you should be in bed. Cynthia has a lot running in my brain now. Sleep is the least of my worries. But I insist you should be in bed, okay? So come on. Cynthia, leave me, leave me, leave come me. on, brother. Hi. <sighs> Take a look at yourself. You are smoking Indian M in the open as though you are one idiot walking the streets. Father. Father, I saw your throwback pictures. And then I discovered that you used to smoke. And then you had a lot of money because you had a lot of wisdom. And then some fools came to you to deceive you all in the name of preaching to you. And then you stopped. What happened when you stopped? Setback. Father. Take a drag. Just one drag. And watch your wisdom rekindle. Is this how you will rule this kingdom if you happen to be named the heir to the throne? One thing is certain, Father. When I become king, I will definitely not make the kind of mistakes that you made. I will stand up tall. 
dominate, coordinate my people. And then I will legalize smoking. So that wisdom, so much wisdom, will return to my kingdom. Take a look at the company I left for you to manage. You practically abandoned it for that your useless and careless sister who does nothing but commit series and series of blunders. If I had to go, why are you doing this to yourself? Why? Father, it appears you do not want to join me. Do me a favor. Give me some space. Allow me to enjoy myself. And as for my useless sister, who is indeed useless, I will fix her blunders. Trust me. I am disappointed. So am I. So am I. I wanna love you. I wanna love and treat you. Love and treat you right. Chukunanso, this throne thing is really eating you up. It's affecting you physically and it's affecting you mentally. <clears throat> Tony, you won't understand. That's what you keep saying. You will not understand. What do I need to understand apart from what I already know? Tony, I want to be named the heir to the throne. I cannot afford to lose that truth. Oh, yes. It is my desire to be the custodian of the staff of the kings of Ozuno. And how do you want to go about it when your father is still alive? Or are you planning to kill your father and your brother? God forbid. Don't say that kind of a thing. Of course you know I won't do it. I know. I'm asking because I am getting confused as well. You want to be named the successor to the throne, yet you don't know how to go about it? I am confused. I don't understand. What is it you have for me? I know everything happening in the palace. Everything. So, okay. How do you want to go about that? Hire me and I will solve the problem permanently. I don't understand. How are you going to go about it? Sakosa standing here is the same Kokoma master of Ozono. The problems in the palace will be over once that useless ifying ceases to exist. Hire me and I can... I'll close him out. Permanently. I don't understand. You mean killing him? Why are you attaching any importance to that useless boy who has no life? As soon as he dies, the problems in the palace dies with him. Just pay me and I will make that happen. I can't believe you came, wherever you came from, to tell me this. Ascension to any throne or high office has a process. First, you eliminate all the problems and obstacles on the way. I am the master. I can do it. Once he dies, the problem in the palace dies with him, and your son will be named heir to the throne. What do you think will happen if he dies like that? You know, if he dies, people of this community will hold me and my children responsible. They will know it is an assassination. I wouldn't want that to happen. I am the scorpion. The scorpion with poisonous venom. I know what to do, and nobody will suspect. Just pay me. I will compose Mize's car. I will make it look like an accident. I'll give him the unthinkable to smoke, and then his car's wreckage will be found. But by then, his soul will be in hell, pressing with the devil. Are you going to hire me or not? Permit me to think about it. Permission granted, but not a word of what we discussed here should I hear outside. If I do, if I do, I will come after you and your children. 
I could be brutal if undermined. But let us save my brutality and unleash it on the enemy. Have a nice day. I'm so happy for you, my dear. Finally, mommy's girl has become a manager. Manager of which company? I am tired. It's boring. Oh, baby, don't say that again. Don't say that. I am tired. You're tired of what? I am tired of sitting down here 24 hours. I mean, it's boring. <sighs> baby boy, you've been productive. You should be happy. You're being productive for your family. Unfortunately, I am not. Oh, God. I am not. This is not me. Don't you understand? I need my freedom. I feel I'm caged. Okay. What do you want me to do? Um, remember the midday bar you took me to the last time we did something very yes, crazy? Yes, of course I do. I want you to take me there. I want really? To do something very crazy to you. Oh, my God. Serious? Mm hmm You mean you want to close now? This office is mine. I can leave whenever I want to. I am the boss. Okay, if you say so. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I have analyzed all angles to this controversy and I have come to the conclusion that I don't need to further play into their hands by staying at home. I'm resuming work tomorrow. Oh, very good, my son. Chukunanso, I must tell you that I'm excited to hear this. Believe me, you have made the right decision. Staying back in this palace will not solve a thing. And like I have told you already, what will be, will surely be. The people will make the right decision when I must have joined my ancestors. You have been a good son and I am so proud of you. Thank you very much, Father. I really appreciate it. I have also discussed this with my mom and my sisters and they are happy. Oh, I am proud of you. Well, well, well. So the wannabe king has finally decided to resume work. That's good. And who are you referring to as a wannabe? Is it my son or someone else that I don't know? Your Majesty, please. Stop asking questions in pretense. You are a first class king and you know what I'm talking about. I guess you're tired of staying at home, right? Lizzie, that guy is so sweet. In fact, he really knows how to do his job. Hmm, really? He is the best I have ever had. His touches are so magical. <laughs> hmm. Now I'm beginning to get jealous. Uh -uh. Genera! Why did you leave work so early yesterday? <sighs> yesterday is gone. Do we really need to talk about it? Are you answering me with another question? I said, why did you leave work so early yesterday? What I am trying to say is whatever happened yesterday should remain in the past. I would ask you for the very last time. Why did you leave work early yesterday? Come on, if I need you, just take it easy on your sister, okay? Get your filthy hands off me. I'm so sorry. Why did you leave work early yesterday? Must I answer your questions? Must I? You are a bully and you always want to bully me. I will not take it. You should be the one managing the company, not me! Yes! Are you talking to me? Hey, please. Are you, to are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Look at this idiot. Look at this. Look at this fool that I'm trying to... Look, 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 look. Come on. Chidera. Who are you looking at? Look at you! You were never a queen in the first place! Look at you! Fake beat, fake attire, fake personality! Fake everything! Ascension to any throne or high office has a process. 
first you eliminate all the problems and obstacles on the way. I am the master. I can do it. Once he dies, the problem in the palace dies with him, and your son will be named heir to the throne. No, I can't do that. Mom, I have decided to employ someone else to manage the business for the meantime. Just like that? Yes. Just like that. Your daughter here knows nothing about the business, so there will be no need leaving her at the office to ruin things for me. Thank you so much. Now that is a very big favor. Thank you. Did you hear your daughter? Did you hear this fool you call your daughter mother? This idiot left the office 3 p.m. yesterday in the company of a man. No, not just a man. My man. Your man. Your man! Hey, stop! Your man! You don't have to do that. She's a lady. All right, now. Suit yourself with your lady. I will not interfere again. I am going to Abuja and I will resume work when I return. Abuja, when? In two days. Two days? You're just telling me. It wouldn't have made any difference if I had told you earlier. And you, continue sleeping with anything that says hi to you. Get out! Get out! Talk in here. Mommy! I'm so happy for you, my friend. I mean, take a look at you. See how fresh you look now. You look good again. <laughs> thank you, Tony. Thank you, honestly. And thank you for bringing back my mind. I was almost losing it. Oh, what are friends for? And like I told you, coming to work does not prevent you from anything. Yeah, you're right. Once again, <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah. She's there? Okay, let her in. Yeah, thank you. It's someone that is coming with a business proposal. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, come right in. Um, good afternoon, sirs. Yeah, good afternoon. Can I please sit? Oh, sure. Uh, by all means, please sit. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> um, you can also be on my way. I will see you later. Sorry, please. Uh, where's my friend? He just left. Oh, really? When? Well, well that's right. Uh, what do you have for me? Um, actually, sir, I I work with um an oil servicing company. We render services to other oil companies in foreign countries. Oh, really? Yes. Well, that's good. Uh, at least we're in the same line of business. Mm -hmm. Well, what we do is that we collaborate with major oil companies like yours to help us meet the expectations of our clients. Well, I don't understand that. Well, you'll get to understand when you finally meet my boss. 
all we need you to do is to get into an agreement with our company because there are some oil servicing companies that have requested our services. And trust me, they are ready to pay lots of cash. You'll get your own percentage at the end of the day. To be honest with you, young lady, I really don't understand what you're talking about. It's a bit complicating and I am not interested. Okay. If that be the case, I have to go now. Thank you. Oh, no, please. Would you mind remaining seated? Okay. Yes, because uh, if the proposal you brought uh, won't work, maybe something else will. Well, it depends on what you mean by something else. Can you please remind me your name again? Vera. Yeah, Vera. Vera, is it, there's this thing about you. I mean, Right now, I lack the exact words to explain what I am feeling. You see, but it's so unique to you. Uh, for the f very first time in my life, I'm going to ask to know a girl more. Well, I am here to see the chief executive of this company. Why am I finally up against the playboy? Playboy? Is that your impression about me? <laughs> oh, come on, my astonishing Vera. I'll prove you wrong. <sighs> Obi, please, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. This American woman you want her son to marry, do you know her very well? I don't understand the question. I don't know her at all. I don't know what you mean by know her very well. Did I ever tell you that I, that I, I know her? You don't even know the woman? No. So how come you're encouraging her son to marry her? He is the one that found her for himself. He is the one that will marry her eventually. And he is the one that will be living with her. Why would I want to know her? Why? Okay. Is she a white woman or African American? Oh God, oh God. What kind of question is this? What kind of, what kind of nonsense? Uh, do you know what? She is just an American woman. And that is all that matters. Can we, can we please stop talking about these people? Why do you want us to stop talking about them? When you've bewitched our son to an extent that he thinks I'm the one kicking against his choice. Uh, and the question that I want to ask you immediately, Madam Teresa is, have you not been kicking against his choice? Have you not been doing it? What's your problem, Teresa? Why can't you leave this young man alone, this wonderful son that God gave us? Why can't you leave him to marry the woman that will make him happy? These people are living in America. We are living here. Why are you trying to impose the Nigerian standard on people that are living in faraway America? Who shows our part? Can we live in Oh, you guys need to see this girl. She's so beautiful. Magnificent. Amazing. In fact, words can express how wonderful she is. Chuku nonso. Eh, mommy. Are you the one speaking like this? Of course, no, I don't understand. What kind of person is that? I think mom means it's quite unusual of you. We've never seen you talking about a lady. I mean, this is the very first time. <laughs> Chuku Nonso, you have always been a very shy person who had looked ladies in the face. What suddenly changed? Obi will not continue to be a boy. Obi has grown. Oh, yes. Mom, wait, I will invite her over so you guys will see, if you see Cov. Hi! You know, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Yes. Your sister is already asleep. I will soon go to bed. How is Abuja? Really? That's wonderful. 
What did you eat today? It's not as if I will send food from here, but I'm just asking you as a mother. All right, son, I'm missing you already. When are you coming back? All right, darling. I miss you. Okay, love. Take good care of yourself, okay? Bye. Funny Chuku. All I will say is that he's in love. And what kind of love is that? This is someone who hardly talks to any woman. And suddenly he's praising the lady the way he did. Truthfully, mom, I'm not comfortable. You can't conclude on that. Until you have sent the lady. Mom, mm -hmm. are you encouraging him to bring such a lady to this palace? Are you? German. Don't just see him as your brother. He's indeed the first son of the king. So you cannot prevent him from bringing anybody to his father's palace. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> this is awesome, you know. Is it fair? I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, you don't understand? What is it you're doing? You see, I, I used to be the shy guy who hardly looks girl in the face like this when I'm talking to them. <laughs> yes, though I don't accept that in public, but that's the truth about me. Really? Yes. Boy, here we are, having a snack. And I'm not even feeling shy. It's amazing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I am speechless. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but that's the truth. Can I tell you something for her? Um, okay, go on. You were a godsend. Are you serious? Yes, of course. And I must tell you that I like you so much. I mean, so very much. You are making me shy right now. Oh, come on, darling. No, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, you may have to continue with your snack, you know. Please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just stop staring oh, at um, me at oh, least. Sorry, please. sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I tell you, my brother, things are now better and calm. No more fighting, no more quarreling. My brother, I am so excited. I am so happy for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> this state of peace in the palace will give your mind a rest. Indeed. I believe. I, I, I spoke with Define earlier this morning, okay? And he said he will resume work as soon as he returns from Abuja. Excellent news. Is this not wonderful? <laughs> wonderful, my brother. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> uh, uh, Udoka, my brother, that reminds me. I still have another good news for you. Really? Yes. I'm listening. Tsukunonso said he has found a woman he wants to marry. Yes. Are you serious? He even said he is bringing her to the palace soon. Wow. Yes. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> How come everything is happening so fast? I, I don't know. All good. <laughs> At least. Now I know that Chukunonso is man enough after all. Of course, Chukunonso has always been a man. That's why my wife has been insisting that Chukunonso should pick a wife. Yes. This information, I believe my wife will be most excited. Oh, yes. <laughs>
Can you stop staring at me? You're making me shy. Oh, come on. I can't stop. You are such a beautiful woman. And I have never seen this kind of beauty before in my life. Come on. <laughs> anyway, you're handsome too, Prince Chupunanso. Am I? Yes, you are. I have not heard that before, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but all the same, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You see, I... I would like to invite you over to the palace. For what? To meet my parents and my sisters. Um... Don't you think it's too early? No, not at all. Come on. I want to introduce you to them as the woman I would love to marry. Yes. Honey, please. Would you marry me? proposed to you just like that and you accepted how do you mean was i supposed to decline his proposal a great prince from a great kingdom for that matter are you serious Vera? doesn't matter if he's a prince or not you don't know this guy you just met him i mean some weeks ago how can you accept his ring well you're right neka i just met him or i am just getting to know him Babes, I need to take a shower. I'm engaged, and that's all that matters. Just like that. <laughs> Just, Just like that. <sighs> this is my father, His Royal Highness, Iwe Obiako Nzakonobi, the 16th of Ozuna Kingdom. <laughs> Your Majesty. And this is my mother, Lolo Akune Obiako Nzakonobi. Lolo. And these are my lovely, beautiful sisters, Aww. Princess Choma and Princess Cynthia. I'm happy to meet you. You're beautiful. I also have a stepmother, half brother, and half sister. I will introduce them to you later. Okay, that's cool. My lovely family. This is Vera. Beautiful Vera. The woman I want to get married to. <laughs> She's indeed beautiful. You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lolo. Chama. Sensi. What is wrong with her? Why are all of you kicking against her? What is wrong with her? Everything is wrong with her. I am totally disappointed in you, Tukunonso. You didn't see a decent girl to pick out there, but that whore? Eh? She's not a whore, mom. She's not. But she's dressed like one. What is all this? I don't see anything wrong with that young lady. No, dad. That girl doesn't look decent. She doesn't fit Brother Chukunonso at all. Oh, will you shut up? What do you know? She knows it all when she sees one. Mm -hmm. Where did you even meet that girl? She is already an international whore. That's your perception, mom. That's your perception. Okay? Vera is not a whore. And I don't say that's one. She's the girl for me. And I've made up my mind I'm going to marry her. You better wake up from that dream. Because that dream is not going to work. I will never allow you to marry that girl into this palace. Better go and collect that ring you gave her because that is useless. What is this? Hmm. I wasn't expecting him to bring someone like that. Tokumo has a wife. Same here. I was expecting to see a gentle and decent girl who suits his status and lifestyle. Don't mind him because I will not allow him to marry that girl in this palace. 
Unfortunately, I remain the only one who can stop him from marrying her. And by that, you mean you're going to support him in marrying that whore? She is not a whore. She is the woman my son has found for himself. Here in this family, we don't impose a wife on anyone. So all of you can take your politics to somewhere else, maybe to your churches. Allow my son to marry the woman that he loves. Where he's going to talk, he's not going to talk. <coughs> Leslie. Babe, I still do not understand what is going on between you and that guy. What is it you don't understand? I am getting married to him. Just like that? Just like how, Neka? Let me even ask you, what is your problem? I don't have a problem, Vera. I just want to make sure you know what you're doing. Okay, remember you told me his mother and sisters did not welcome me well. So? Am I getting married to any of those busybodies? In fact, my darling, that is the kind of marriage I want to go into. So that I will have the space to deal with both the mother and my sisters-in-law. For not minding their business. In fact, I am getting married to the prince for their cold reception. Vera. Vera, why are you determined to walk into an open grave? Well, why? Well, darling, let that be my headache. That must be my praise. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Hi, darling. How are you? I am see. <laughs> I hope I'm not late. No, not at all. Okay. Mm, so, sit down. <laughs> I'll just quickly um get ready so we can leave. Okay, fine. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> um, welcome, Prince Chukwu. Yeah. Oh, uh, Nikki, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. I thought you were educated. How come you're not? I um, <clears throat> I don't understand what you mean by that. Chukunonso is the head prince in this kingdom, and he will assume position as king in this kingdom eventually. Now tell me. What makes you think he will end up with someone like you? Cynthia, let's leave this place. It's already polluted. know what you're planning with them. I don't even want to know what you people were discussing. But I just want you to know that they are losers. And whoever discusses with them is a loser. And that makes you a loser. You understand what I talk You understand? You come out they look me. You understand?
Enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. Is it? Why are your sisters so mean? They won't even respond to an ordinary greeting. Why are you bothered? I am the one you're getting married to, not them. So ignore them. Yes. Okay? Honey? I mean, talk to me. <laughs> Fine. Oh, good. I love you so much, baby. And I love you too. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's in your eyes. <laughs> you know what? What? I have something special for you. Oh. Special gift, yes. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. So you're gonna give me some time? Let me go and get it from my room. Alright, that's fine. I'll be here waiting. I know. <laughs> Whatever I said to you, you know them. It's okay. fine. I'll be just fine. Just put your smiley face. <laughs> I'm smiling already. I know, I know. But please don't keep too long, okay? Oh, trust me, I'll be back. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were educated. How come you're not? I um, <clears throat> I don't understand what you mean by that. Chukunonso is the head prince in this kingdom, and he will assume position as king in this kingdom eventually. Now tell me, what makes you think he will end up with? someone like you. Sinta, let's leave this place. It's already polluted. know what you are planning with them. I don't even want to know what you people were discussing. But I just want you to know that they are losers. And whoever discusses with them is a loser. And that makes you a loser. You understand what I talk You understand? You come they look me. You understand?
Andreas thing. Thank you very much. sisters so mean. They won't even respond to an ordinary greeting. Why are you bothered? I am the one you're getting married to. Not them. So ignore them. Yes. Okay? Honey? I mean, talk to me. <laughs> it's fine. Oh good. I love you so much baby. And I love you too. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's in your eyes. <laughs> you know what? What? I have something special for you. Oh. A special gift, yes. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. So you're going to give me some time? Let me go and get it from my room. All right, that's fine. I'll be here waiting. Uh, Whatever I said to you, you know that. It's okay. fine. I'll oh, just fine. Just put your smiley face. <laughs> I'm smiling already. I know, I know. But please don't keep too long, okay? Oh, course, trust me. I'll go back. All right. I've done in this life other than look for you. Come on, look at you. For three years, three years. Uh, oh my God, um, I, I miss you. It's a, a, a long story. Okay, fine. Don't worry, we'll talk about You're it. You're back? Of course. I'm back. I'm back. Well, I'm so glad and so happy to see you the way you will hug and hold her. It appears you're the only person who likes her in this house apart from dad. Yeah. I don't understand. I thought she told you. I thought you were excited about what she told you, and that's why you're hugging her. She's my fiance. What? What? What do you mean, what? Is that true? Talk to me, Is that true? What is it? I'm fine. Come on. It's your me. Is it true? Forgive me. Shh. See, honey, there's nothing to be sorry for. Oh, yes, because whatever you did with him was in the past. And that's before you knew me. So there's nothing to forgive. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are a darling. Words can't explain how much I love you. <laughs> and I love you too. <laughs> oh, make me a promise that you will never have anything to do with him again. I promise whatever we had was in the past and nothing, I mean nothing will ever evolve that. See, I love you so much. And I love you too from my heart. 
What happened? You just disappeared. No one could trace you. You gave me your number, and ever since then I have been trying to call you and you kept telling me switch stuff. Not like you told me where you live. So you got me confused. You got me worried. What happened? I'm so sorry. Actually, I got a call from my mother that day. While you were in the bathroom smoking. I... I didn't want to disturb you. She told me that my father was rushed to the hospital. As a result of a sudden heart attack. Oh my God. I had to leave. And... I swear I did it subconsciously without even remembering to tell you. And on my way to the hospital, I, I was attacked by a gang of criminals. They forcefully took my phone, my handbag. And the most painful part was I... My father was even pronounced dead before I got to the hospital. I'm sorry. Please. I'm, I'm sorry. Please forgive no, no, me. No, 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 no. You stop it. I think it's the other way around. I am sorry for everything that happened to you. I I'm tried. So, it's okay. I, I tried. Hey, 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 I, I tried hey. to reach you. Hey. It's okay. <laughs> everything is going to be all right. Thank you. Thank you. Don't you dare! Don't you dare call her your woman because she knows she's my woman! She is not your woman! You big for nothing. I met her before you. Oh, you think you can frustrate me this time around? You think? And that you will be till you die! And you will be a nickel pope, a madman, an idiot! Till oh you die! God. You are a madman! Enough of this madness! Quiet, both of you! What is all this? Have you gone insane? Have you lost your mind? You are shouting quarreling just because of a woman? And who is she anyway? Mother, I will tell you this immediately. She is not just any woman. She is the sweetest of them all. The sweetest I've ever met. Father, you need to close the door with this girl. And then you will see why you will not allow any other person. Can you listen to yourself? Can you listen to yourself, the nonsense that is coming out of your mouth? Can you listen to what you're telling your own father? Woman like you, he understands what I am saying. How would you feel if your children do the same to you? But he is the disrespectful one here. Oh, and you are the respectful one here. You are the nice person. No, go ahead, clap for yourself. You deserve all the accolades. You have the right to call me the disrespectful one when you, 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 you went chasing after my woman. By the way, when did you start talking to women? It is Tonda! Tonda! Tonda is homeless! I'm frustrated I will strike you dead! And I am that Tonda! That will suffocate your destiny. Will you stop? What? Women, I told you not to interfere. What are you doing here? Not what? when my son is being cursed by a she male. And not when my own son is being cursed by a stupid louse. Will you shut up? Oh, shut up! Will you shut up? Shut up! 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 Why are you still calling Vera a whore even after I've told you that she's the woman for me? No, she cannot be the woman for you. She's classless. What do you know about her? 
I mean, what do you know about her to draw such conclusion? Brother, that lady has already slept with Tifine. And from what we know, you have equally slept with her. And that makes her classless? Are you guys underestimating me or what? Do you realize that I am the head prince of Ozuna Kingdom? That I can get any woman I want? Good! So why not get another and leave this one that already went down with Tifine alone? Any woman that could go as slow as sleeping with a fine has no class. Ah, you know what? I want to be left alone. <sighs> okay, we'll leave you alone. But I want to tell you something. We once made a presentation before the king, and we presented you as a decisive man who is made in the mode of kings. Why are you portraying a different character entirely? I am not portraying a different character at all. I am still the decisive man. And that is why I cannot allow a fine to go for a woman that I want. And let me make it clear to you. It will never happen. Obviously, you guys don't want to let me be. Good. Why is brother Chukun also behaving like this. Why? I was the first to sample her words before my stupid brother emerged from nowhere to claim what does not belong to him. He wants to reap where he did not sow. Man, that's your brother to the misfire. Now which academy in go serve? My prince, why must you and your brother fight always? And what sort of stupid question is that, Jerry? Is something wrong with you? Are you daft? Didn't you hear when I said I was the first to meet this girl? You guys don't understand. This girl is sweet. She is the sweetest I have ever encountered. But Prince Ifa Inchuku, this girl you're talking about is engaged to your brother. That is PM News. That is Baudadash. Not for a man like me. She told me she has nothing to do with my brother. What? Yes! And in my presence, she removed that miserable ring that miserable idiots gave to her. Jerry, have you heard it? The girl wants a guy man in her life, not that dog guy. I, 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 I can't believe this. I know you would not believe this. You don't even believe in yourself. You are just a miserable pessimist. And I tell you something like I have always told you. I will never allow you to drag me to your own level. Prince Ifa Inchuku, I am not a pessimist. Indeed, I am a realist. My prince, what I want you to do is see things from my own perspective. That is my point. I see your point indeed. And now I see exactly why you were thrown out of the seminary school. Now let me warn you. The next time you give me this useless summon of yours, I will lodge a bullet in your spinal cord. And I mean every word of it. My prince, can you do that? <laughs> Sweetheart, you are just amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, every bit of it. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> just that. What is it? Something just came to my mind now. What's the problem? I just remembered that this very thing I'm enjoying now, my younger brother has enjoyed it. My love, I'm sorry about it. I just want you to get this thing off your mind, please. Moreover, this whole thing happened three years ago. At that time, I didn't even know I was going to meet you. I'm really sorry. Please. It's okay, honey. Maybe I shouldn't have brought it up in the first place. I know he's in the past now. I'm really sorry about that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. 
I should be the one apologizing. I'm very sorry. It's okay. <laughs> understand what is going on. Brother Chukunonso is not in the palace. And when I called him, I heard that lady's voice in the background. You're not serious. You mean he left us to go be with her or what? More reason you need to see through mom's point. That lady is a gold digger and we need to confront her immediately. Confront her as in engaging her in the fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Cynthia. We cannot be seen fighting a classless woman who could sleep with both brothers. Think of something else. Hmm. I'm just wondering what has changed. Brother Chukunonso, who could not even look a woman in the eyes, is now ready to fight for her. I don't know what to say. You know what, Cynthia? Call him again. I want to talk to him. Mm. Call him. Mm. Lizzie, why are you killing yourself over somebody that is not interested in you? Chibibiri, who told you he's not interested in me? He is my brother. I know him too well. He's not interested in you. He does not like you. What I still don't understand is why would your brother be interested in another man's fiancé? Think about it, isn't that crazy? Whether crazy or not, that is none of my business. The fact is, stay on your own. He does not like you. Period. I'm not saying this. Why then are you my friend? He don't like you. Stay on your own. Baby, I love your brother, Shao. I don't know what you're not doing. Your Majesty, you mean all this has been happening? I am extremely tired, Udoka. Why is there no peace in my home? Most times I feel I am cursed. No, you are not. How can you say anything like so that? What, what, what do you expect me to say? From one problem to the other. But why is it that Ifa Yishuku cannot forget his encounter with this woman? And then allow his brother Shuku Nonso to have her to himself, seeing he has already engaged her? That is the problem, Udoka. If I said it must be that girl, why? That she is the sweetest woman in this world. I don't know what that means anyway. Sweetest woman in this world. Exactly, that was what he said. What kind of expression is that? That's very serious. And you know that Nonso's mother and sisters don't like this lady in question. Honestly, I am tired and confused. I am equally as tired as, as you are. Why do I have this feeling that you are a superwoman? A superwoman in what sense? The way you touch, the way you make out with me, the way you do everything is different from the way other women do to me. And that gives you all as a superwoman. Listen, I'm not happy you're telling me this. How do you mean? I am just expressing my sincere feelings. My love, I am not talking about feelings. You just seem directly to me that you're doing stuff with other ladies. I don't like the way that sounds. <sighs> to be honest with you, ever since you left, there has been no other woman. And now that you're back, there will be no other woman. It's you and I forever. <laughs> <laughs> now, mm -hmm. let me make you scream the second time. Mm, bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> I don't 
know why he fights you over everything. Ask me, Tony. No, ask me. That boy is just something else. I just hope he doesn't frustrate me to the point that I'll begin to think about getting him killed. Uh, no, 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 don't say that. You don't understand, Tony. You don't. That boy is just a pin in my ass. Oh, how sure are you he no longer has anything to do with Vera? Well, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Whatever they had was in the past and it's long gone. It was in fact uh, Well, I wish I could grow to trust women like that. Unfortunately, I don't want to trust that blindly. It's up to you, Tony. It's up to you, it's your opinion and you're entitled to it. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, Vera is mine. And very soon, I'll pay her bread price. She must be my wife. Vera, this is unusual. How can you be in love with two brothers, not minding the controversies that surrounds it? Girl, please, you have to stop this. You have to stop this before it gets more complicated. Please. Neka, you don't get it. I am in love with both of them. I mean, I can date two of them simultaneously. I can't afford to lose any of them. Don't you get it? Vera, now you've lost it. You have lost it. Oh. And you need help. <laughs> really? Yes, and urgent help. You need help. Okay, I have heard you. This is serious, not that you've heard me. so much. I miss you very much. If you say that one more time, you will deny me my sleep. <laughs> you know what, darling? You have this special way of touching a woman. I cannot exist without you, my love. It is official. You just repeat exactly the words that I told my father. You are the sweetest of them all. I want you to know one thing, darling. I will fight for the last drop of my blood. You are for keeps. <laughs> my darling, I feel the same way. All right, darling, you, you have no idea what's happening to me right now. My mom is <laughs> right here looking at me like she wants to tear me apart. You know what I promise you? I'll see you tomorrow and we'll talk more, okay? I love you, I love you. Oh my goodness, he is just exactly what I want. Oh, please, whatever. Hey. <laughs> Mom, you're still dressed. You should be asleep by now. Or do you want to go to the club with me? I've not even gone to bed. Why? I'm bothered. A queen? <laughs> bothered about what? About you. Me? Me? How? I... I don't understand. If I ain't Jogu, why must you lost over a woman Jogu so wants to marry? Why? Bomb, I am not lost enough after anyone's woman. I met that girl way before Jogu so did. When? Where? If I need to go out, 
Okay, mom, let, let me break it down for you. I met this girl three years ago in Asaba. We became friends. We got along just fine, mom. We spent quality time in the hotel. And after a while, she just disappeared. Only for me to bump into her and then she told me everything that happened. Mom, she is the reason that I haven't been able to look at another woman. She is the sweetest girl that I've gotten down with. She is awesome, mother. She is the woman that I will marry. There is something I must tell you, son. Tell me what? Oh, Oguzu. Oh, Oguzu. I am listening. I want my son to be the future king of Uzono Kingdom. I've actually heard a lot about you. How you can make everything possible. I want the opposition dead. It is not possible. Anyone who has been named the son of the king of Uzuno is protected by the staff of the kings and can never be killed. So, what do you want me to do? I am ready to pay any amount, anything. I just want my son to be named heir apparent to the throne. I will find a woman. I will cage her soul with the power from the pots of Jezebel. I will send her on a mission. What kind of a mission, please? Women are very complicated. They complicate things a lot. I don't want complications in this. There is nothing complicating about this. I will send her to visit the opposing prince in his office and something will start immediately. He will propose to her, and once he marries her, he will die. Then your son can take over. Is it complicated? No, it's not. I, I think I like it. Oh. Then you will pay me 400,000 Naira. And afterwards, something will be done. I hired her. She is on a mission. A mission to kill Chukunonso and put an end to all these squabbles. What? She does not know what she's doing. She's under a spell. So, son. Give her some space to make Chukunonsu take his own life. Did I, did I, did I hear you right? You did, son. Why? Mother, why? Of all the girls in this world, why did you choose the sweetest of them all for your evil manipulations? Why, mom? I did it for you, son. Did it for who? I did it for who? You know what? I did not hear anything that you just said. I will carry on with my plan, move on with my intentions. But I am serious about it. If I do not ever, ever call my name again. Your Majesty, you have to do your job, not just as a king, but as a father. You need to restore peace to your home. Call your family together. Talk to them. 
I believe they will listen to you. Because the way uh, things are going, things are really getting out of hand. Thank you very much, Ono. Thank you for your concern. It is not like I am not doing my job as a father. I have done everything you asked me to do, all to no avail. They don't listen to me. Maybe because you don't take things seriously. I do, or no. I do. Just that they don't listen to me. And honestly, I don't know what else to do. Your Majesty, in the house where the masquerade is singing, a human being is in there. That's all I have to say. Teresa, I still, I still don't know why there can't be peace in my brother's home. That is giving me a reason to be bothered. Seriously. Is there peace in your own home? Me what? When you are bent on imposing an American woman on me as my daughter-in-law, why are you not talking about your own family? Teresa, let me ask you. Akunne and then Goseka that my brother married, are they not from this land? From this Awuzuna? Are they not the problems we have in this family? Have they not been the ones trying to bring this family down? Have they behaved in any way to suggest they are good women? No, has it not occurred to you that a good woman, a good wife could be found from anywhere, not minding the race, the tribe, the region or whatever? Why are you endlessly talking nonsense? Why? Oh. Talking nonsense. Absolute nonsense, and you know it. I will not discuss this matter ever again. Good. Wonderful. Can you please get me something to eat? Thank you. Why are you doing this? What am I doing? What am I doing, Teresa? We have not been able to solve the Akunne and then go say Kadivakol in this in, 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 in this family. And now there is a woman, a strange woman from only God knows where, who has come to tear the two brothers apart. Are you not bothered? Is that not what we're supposed to be discussing instead of an innocent woman that my, my son has found for himself? Why? Have you bothered to check the identity of the girl I want her son to marry? Have you? Why do you dislike somebody you don't know? Why? Somebody you've never seen? Why will I want to bother myself asking for her identity? When the person that will marry her, who happens to be my son, already has another woman in America who has stolen his heart. Listen, I don't know that, I don't know that, that American woman, but my son already confided in me that she is an angel. Yes, in his wisdom, he saw that woman in America as an angel. Now, why would you want me to encourage my son to abandon that angel he found for himself in America? and come back here and start, start negotiating anything with another angel who could possibly turn to another Akone and another Gosek and this family and sit everywhere blaze and map wala. You didn't know what? Give me something to eat. Why must she plan to kill Chukunonzo? Is she that evil? That's not my problem though. Why must it be Vera? Why must it be the sweetest of them all? We still live! Give me a run for my money. 
how are you? I'm fine and you? Wow. Well, um, I'm just sitting outside the house, smoking and thinking about you. You have never disobeyed me ever since I gave back to you. Why now? No. Is this a deliberate move to appeal to my emotions to weaken me? Why must you read extra meaning into this? What extra meaning are you talking about? You what do you mean by that? You just refer to my choice as an act of disobedience. So why must you say that, Mom? What do we call this one? Love! What nonsense love are you talking about? Mom, the love I have for Vera is what we are talking about here. I love her so much and I cannot afford to lose her. It is obvious you don't know what you are doing. But I will not allow that. Not when I'm still alive. Excuse me. Ah. Yeah, baby. Of course you know I miss you too. Yes, of course. I can't wait. Are you serious? You know I can't wait. Oh, darling, I love you so much. You see, let me just leave you to sleep, okay? Sleep like a baby, sweet dreams, and dream about us. I love you too. Hey, Chukunonso. Chukunonso. Yes. I have come here to warn you. Stay away from Vera. She is my woman and she belongs to me. I met her way before you did. <laughs> Stay away from my woman. You sound very funny. Why can't you just give it up already? You and I know that Vera is my woman. As a matter of fact, my fiancé to be precise. In your plastic mind. Oh, it's difficult for you to comprehend, right? Do you know I just got out of the phone with her? We just had a telephone conversation and she assured me that my name alone makes her mind skip. That she loves me, that I am the one for her. That is not possible. So why don't you give it up? Why are you fighting a lost battle? That's not possible, Chikulonzo. I just spoke with her not quite long ago and she told me she has nothing to do with you. Let this be the last time I am warning you, Chikulonzo. Stay away from Vera. You are free. You have all the time to look for any woman you want in this world. Stay away from Vera. I won't warn you again. Obviously, you're psychic, isn't it? I am not psyching you, madam. I am not. Stay away from Vera. It will not be like this next time. Asami, is it true? Did you call him last night? I swear I did not call him. Why would I do that? But that was what he told me. Listen, my love. Such thing never happened. He lied to you. He lied to me? Why would he lie to me? Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? It is obvious he doesn't want us to be together. My love. I promised you that I was going to have nothing to do with him. What we had is history. You are the one I love. You are my husband-to-be. I would never do anything to let you down or to hurt you. Believe me. Are you sure? I'm very sure. You promise? Never let go of that girl. She is mine and will forever be. If I need you, are you alright? I told you that that girl is on a mission. She is under a spell. That is not my business. She is the one that I love. She's the one that I will be with. 
Excuse me. Baby. What is it? I don't like the look on your face. That bastard. He was here. Who? My brother. Was he here? Faich, why would you ask me such a question? What would your brother come here to do? I smell the familiar perfume. He is to be precise. Vera. What did my brother come here to do? It is not established that your brother was here. Why would you ask me what he came here to do? I find it so unfair. But the fragrance of his cologne is everywhere in your room. That cologne was specifically made for him. And I bet you, no one else wears it. Well, you are wrong. The only person who just left here is Neka's boyfriend. So whatever cologne you are smelling was worn by him. So Neka now has a boyfriend. Rich enough to duplicate the customized cologne that my brother wears. Who is he? Darling. Can we just stop this unnecessary talk about Colon and talk about us? I have missed you so much. I need you to come into the room and give it to me hard, baby. I've missed you. sisters and we have the right to tell you who to marry and who not to marry. Cynthia, have you gone out of your mind? How dare you talk to me in this manner? No, 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 hold on. She's right. Oh. She hasn't said anything wrong now. That girl is not good for you. She's a whore! Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. What else you get out of my sight? Little girls of yesterday. Oh, you're now grown that you cannot open your stupid mouth to tell me who to marry or who not to marry. You have to discontinue whatever game you're playing because my son wasn't part of the mission. <laughs> <laughs> well, my queen, it's too late already. What do you mean by that? Well, let's say I'm enjoying this game and I have come to stay. You have come to stay where, young lady? What are you talking about? <laughs> My 
goodness. Well, have a nice day, Queen Ngozika. That is it, Great Azala. My son has now fallen in love with the same lady, and it's not part of the mission. What else do you want me to do? I want you to break the spell. I'm no longer interested. Please, I beg you. No longer, Zik. Great Ozala. Your request cannot be granted. What? The spell cannot be broken. No. Why? Great Ozala, why can't it be broken? There is a detailed interest coming from the custodian of the staff of the kings of Osuno. The staff will not allow a neutralization request. Interest from the custodian of the staff of the kings? That's my husband. The king is interested in that lady. Oh, of course I know. I know that, Great Ozala. I've always known it from the beginning. He wants Chupun and so to marry that girl. But that's not what I'm talking about. My son has fallen in love with the same girl. Please, you need to break that spell so that it doesn't have any effect on my son. Please. As for now, there is nothing I can do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Serious, oh, serious, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got you there. Okay, stop staring at me. You're making me shy. I'm not staring at you because I want to make you shy. <laughs> it's just that I can't take my eyes off you because you're amazingly beautiful. Oh, yes. That's so lovely. You see, sometimes I feel like I want to eat you up. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like if you were lollipop, I would just lick you up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eat me up if you want to. I'm all yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love you. And I love you too. Is it? There's something I want to show you. So let me get my phone from my room. Okay, I'll be right here waiting. And I'll be right back. All right, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty. How are you today? I'm fine, my king. <laughs> Mother, I will tell you this immediately. She is not just any woman. She is the sweetest of them all. The sweetest I've ever met. Father, you need to close the door with this girl. And then you will see why you will not allow any other person to come close to her. Can you listen to yourself? I hope you like what you see, my king. to have a little fun with you. 
I need to go back to the sitting room before your son comes looking for me. Oh no, no, you don't have anything to worry about. Just stay here. You're with the king. <laughs> I am not done with you yet. No, you're sounding like you had so much. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty, what's going on in there? Please take it, it's okay. Calm down. I said, where is she? I don't know. I don't know. Where did she go to? How do I find her? I don't know. She just came back, packed all her things, and she left. She didn't say anything to me. And she didn't tell me where she was going to. I've been calling her and her two lines have been switched off. I can't reach her. Yes. She did what? She did what? Look, Prince Chuko, please. Just calm down, okay? Just calm down. What happened? What's the problem? Yes. Shut up. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm now sorry. You listen. You find that bitch. Call me. Do I make myself yes, quiet? Yes, 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 yes. Do you understand? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Ashamed of you, Biako. I beg your pardon. How dare you call me by my name? And how dare you desecrate the sacredness of the staff of the kings by sleeping with a lady your sons had already slept with? You have lost relevance. I regret the day I married you. <laughs> It's 100% right. You have lost relevance already. And no matter how hard you will try, you will never command the respect of anyone again. My daughters, let's go. I swear on my life that this is not ordinary. 
what she did to me is beyond seduction. She hypnotized me and I lost control of myself when it mattered most. I am telling you the truth. That you were hypnotized by that bitch. Then you have compromised your position as the king. Because no one can hypnotize you if you don't compromise your position. Do you mind telling us what you did? We should be blaming Ngozika and not me. The psychic I just called confirmed to me that she was the one who invoked that evil woman from only God knows where. He confirmed to me that in her desperation, she played into the hands of the enemies of the throne. She is actually the one to be blamed and not me. Oh, spare me that, Ubiago. I hate you. You are a total disgrace. Look at how you single-handedly ridiculed our family. Now tell me, where do you go from here? You're a shame. Further, is there a way out of this mess? Can this abomination be cleansed? Can I still emerge as king? What lies did you call me here to tell me? Ubiako, if every other person forgives you, Ngozi Chukuka will never forgive you. I, I did not call you here to tell you lies. There is something I want to show you. What, what, what are you doing with the gun? I have lost the throne already. What crime did I commit that has made you unleash that evil woman on my children and I? What crime did I commit? Your Majesty, you were the one who could not... that bore him a son. The king also took his own life. Uh, oh no, Akajuko, please. Uh, we are doing everything possible to forget the tragedy that befell our family. It's indeed a dark period, like you said. And we are making inquiries on how we can cleanse the land of the abomination that was committed. For we have come to the 
sad conclusion that an abomination was indeed committed by our late brother and the late king. Trust me, you have my assurance on this. We are going to handle it. I am aware that the king left us skeletal information about the woman. I have come to provide additional information. I'm sorry to cut you off, no. You don't need to bother yourself explaining anything about that woman. We all know the evil woman in question. I want to make a clarification. I was never interested in the throne in the first place. I understand that the king is expected to abide by certain rules, some of which are rooted in strange powers no one can manipulate. I, Ifa Inchuku, have never been interested in all this. He was my mother. She kept pushing, she kept pushing me. And now that the whole scenario has taken her life, I want to let you all know that I am opting out. Chukunanso, you are my brother. One who truly deserves the throne. I offer you a sign of peace. And also to let you know that you deserve it. So you can have it. <laughs> thank you. My brother, thank you very much. Thank you. thank you for solving this problem. I had always known that you were a good man. I had always known also that it was your mother who has been manipulating you. Well, now that all these are over, when I emerge king, we shall rule this great kingdom together. Just like father and uncle Udoka. Thank you once again. I'm happy. Finally. I am impressed with the peace I am sensing in the real house. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's indeed a new dawn. Yes. Unfortunately, my son, you are not the next king of Ozuna. What did you just say? What do you what kind of pronounce? What, what what is that? If my brother here is not the king, then who is? Oh no, I don't want to believe. I, 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 don't, I don't want to believe that kingship, I mean royalty in any way has been taken away from our family. Royalty still remains in your family. But this is rightfully mine. I'm the heir apparent. The abomination did not affect all the families of the royal lineage. We have made inquiries. After the cleansing that will come to your family, we will all gather and make Udoka king and hand over the staff of the kings to him. You are the next king of Uzono kingdom. I've always, I've always believed in my spirit that, that you never schemed for this. You earned it. So therefore you have my support. Thank you. Uncle, my brother has said it all. I believe this is a new dawn in our family. You've always been that uncle who believes in unity and sustenance of family values. I submit to your kinship. <laughs> 